I hope everyone cleared their schedules for tonight. I have it. I have an appointment with this. Uh, I gotta be somewhere <laughs> at um, eight o'clock. Have an appointment. You have an appointment with Desitin, you fuck. I have an appointment for with all your Shulamon. You keep you keep wearing your assless chaps. Desitin. No, I no. I have an appointment with Desitin. Oh, that's probably true. All the heat yeah. rashes from feeding ourselves. No, it's Astroglide. Get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Tobias, you're sick. <coughs> well, I was more well, thinking about right changing there, our sick. party. <laughs> mm, coffee. Huh? Coffee. Oh, I made her some decaf. Mm, coffee. Oh, she can drink his decaf, so that's what she gets. Uh, I made sure the campaign share enable was on because obviously your characters might be important tonight if you choose to use them. Use them wisely. Hey. I was just rereading all of my character sheet. <laughs> all of the things I can do. Oh, really? My favorite is when you come across the ones where you're like, a year later, no uh, no fingers pointing oh. at Samara. A year later, oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's oh. really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you're talking, Asborn, I think you're muted. I don't know if he's talking to us or if he's playing League of Legends. I am not playing League of Legends. Uh oh. I I, I have more self respect uh, to play League of Legends in my own free time. Why? League of Legends is cool. Cool lore wise, not very That's cool true. to play. Have, did you ever get to watch the uh, Arcane series? I did not. I went to a secret cinema for it, so it's like a in-person live event where they have like actors giving you tasks. Really fun. Hmm. Wow. Oh cool. god, interactive theater. <laughs> That's why he finds the pink-headed character Vi to be extremely attractive. <laughs> <laughs> he wants her to crush his balls. Whoa! <laughs> no. With like high heels. Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut okay. it out! Oh, oh, real real gauntlets. Yeah. Oh, or oh, no. he wants to be. He wants his nuts crushed with the infinity gauntlet. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Worn by a hot chick. <laughs> I don't think Thanos is a hot chick. <laughs> Fucking nerds, man. <laughs> Fucking nerds. Man, their kink nerds. goes crazy. Okay. Who, Thanos is kink? Thanos got kink? No. Talking about nerds in general. Uh, They're nerds in general. Well, it's really funny because me and Calista have been binge watching um, uh, Big Bang Theory. Uh, oh, yeah. I only ever saw the first half of the series and never saw the second half. And then we decided to start watching it. And man, we just. Uh, look, Sheldon is by far the most misogynistic, racist piece of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> but he's proof that if your parents raise you that way, that's what you get. You know, I, I I admire their ability to, like, try to pull that off. But, oh, my God, it's like watching the show now is so cringy. It is, like, so bad. Hey, you should watch um, Young Shelton. That's that's ten times better than Big Bang Theory. We'll be watching that after we finish Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Well, no, we're going to finish watching Letterkenny after Big Bang Theory because we've got the other second half of that season to get wrapped up on. Um, then I got to finish watching Orville and then what we do in the shadows. Um, then we can. I love that one vampire on there that sucks sucks people's souls by just being like one of the guys uh, around the a, office. A time vampire. Yeah. Talking about Colin Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> He, I love uh, that he, guy. His character died last season, but <laughs> turns out the time vampires reset their life every hundred years. Right. So now he's a fast-growing toddler. His own like, <laughs> toddler self or baby self crawled out of like he gave birth to his self after he died. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's, it's the actor's face. Oh on, a on like a baby's body, and then oh my god, I gotta it, see now that. Now it's a toddler's body, and now it's a tween's body. 
Um, so he's like, he's growing like every day he's growing. It's okay. absolutely hysterical. Until he gets to adulthood. Well, my favorite episode was when he met another time vampire. <laughs> and the two of them were like uh, absorbing all the life energy of all their fellow um, vampires. Uh, cu cubicle. Um, yeah, uh, cubicle people. Yeah. All the cubicle people in their office. <laughs> yeah, everybody's all. Uh, uh, uh. I got to rewatch that now. That I shit's know, hilarious. Right. All right. Well, let's get this show, this game. This let's get these people dead. Session on the road. Two and a half years, folks. Two and a half years. <laughs> years in the making holy crap and they still didn't make it to level 20 because they went right for the island instead of joining the attempt to capture um well anyways that's Oops. fine <laughs> <laughs> there are literally only two milestones left but that's fine it's all good hey shulaman we need to go capture some bandits about three thousand miles away from here as a side quest we'll be back oh you made the ones that i used to capture your friends and family well, there's no need. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> you okay there, babe? You look sweaty. I will myself to 20th level. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Lightning strikes me I, like, a little um, bit. No? I, I think because we uh, we captured the island creature that, you know, and yeah, sent it back that's, to the that's a wild, level up I right think there. that should have been a milestone. And a milestone. Uh, we should have gotten to level 20. Yeah. No, you got to level 19 because I concur. Oh, did we? <laughs> that was the milestone before the final. Good effort, Bear. Good effort. Yeah. What happened like a couple I was weeks trying. Ago. I was trying. <laughs> well, it is what called. What I find you know, ironic just... is that we opened up this campaign with you guys having to deal with that, and the funny thing is. Um, it, it it kind of was only a portion of the campaign for a while, you know. Like it, it it didn't seem to make up a lot of the campaign until you know it became the center focus of how Shulaman was um, uh, had tried to bring something into the world effectively, um, and that just disappeared into the background for the most part. And I was surprised that Fire remembered she still had the bag to capture it. <laughs> it's in my character sheet. No taking. Hey, I'm impressed. This this is this is affirmation. I'm impressed. My notes. <laughs> and I mean, it was it was in my inventory in D and D Beyond, and I even made a note on the inventory in D and D Beyond on on the the thing, the mm. um, summoning word. That is super impressive. Wow. Super impressive. <laughs> Vince is like TPK, TPK. <laughs> that would be about our luck. That'd be awesome. That's what I was telling someone. I was like, we're either going to save the world or TPK. One or the other. We can do both. In between. We, can we do could both. do both. We could do both. We could do both. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm my inside. goodness. I'm not going to help you, but I found him. We have to keep going because I, I still have pages left in this journal. We can't wait. Jason's, so. Jason's gonna kill me. Watch, watch. Well, don't y'all have like no spell slots left? I have spell uh, slots. That's a very good question. I definitely don't have any. You don't have spells. You don't have spells, Tobias. I've got I said a this. Actually, I've surprisingly got a few spell slots. Okay. Okay. 
and some high level ones. I don't, I don't I have some high level ones. <clears throat> when we left off, we were all clouds, so we were turning into clouds, yes. No, we had all turned I in. I think not all of you. It was only no, Asborn no, and Bias. Bias. not Tobias, Asborn and Bison. Bison. Bison and Asborn's grandmother. We are doing some silly business. Yes. Quite yeah, there was very an silly. to pull off some um, unique Asborn Thyssen Alpha Omega plan Delta. Um, which Chain course, plan. I, or I had to right? burn a couple legendary resistances to avoid it. Um, but I believe once everybody was taken to safety, you guys had all turned into clouds to avoid the major catastrophe of the meteor swarm that was in the process of coming down into the ruined base of the tower while Thyssen and Asborn were wrestling and struggling with Shulaman, trying to, I believe, get him into one of the dimension gate things that uh, Thyssen was trying to pull off. I recall yes that is like it that. and we had clouded all of our other friends right or all of our other everybody others. except for me ma yeah oh no because it was but i was, was gonna ask i was gonna ask is the um it wouldn't matter because it would take me a minute anyways poop then never mind <laughs> well when you use such fine convincing words as poop. poop go ahead and explain it anyways. oh poop well because i was like <laughs> oh if all the rocks are done falling I could zoom up as clouds right next to her, wild shape into like a great eagle and grab her. Well, don't forget Fortuna, who has kind of a thing for Tyson, was actually on her way to grab the three of them. Okay. She was she had banked in and was coming towards them as their plan had failed because now Asborn, Asborn's grandmother and Tyson are currently falling. Um Shulaman's visage is kind of still up in the air slowly coming down but he had put his hands up and <laughs> pulled down the great meteor shower above him um as that all was happening kind of simultaneously but that may be our recap for where we last left off but let's talk about what got us here the veil gate the thin reality between all the different planes of existence not only a way that the fiber of the different existences kind of stay together to allow the transition between these astral levels and these wild spaces and the astral sea. It seems that whatever the Chained Oblivion had planned, that the pact was made and Shulaman was its avatar, is its avatar. However, with the seven skulls dispelled, the sacrifices rescued from the tower platform and the magical effects of both your abilities and your equipment restored after the ceremony was interrupted, the veil had collapsed around this shadow fell pocket that Shulaman had created in an attempt to bring the Chained Oblivion's influence not only into the material plane, but to allow it to escape into the astral sea and basically remake the universe in its own image. All of this has been stopped, but Shulaman is still wrapped in the fabric of the Oblivion's seven seals. As the team both engaged and rescued their family and friends simultaneously, where we last left off, Fortuna had arrived. She had banked in towards where Asborn and Thyssen were wrestling with the physical form of Shulaman. Nearly able to get rid of him, he managed to use his natural resistances to their magic to not only fend them off, but to summon a massive uh, meteor swarm down into the space. While the others went off in different directions with their immediate friends that were recovered, or family, depending on your point of view. Their cloud forms provided by Samara have allowed them to get to at least a safe distance at this point. Asborn, Thyssen, and Mima falling through the air are swooped in by Fortuna. Fortuna looks back. 
She sees that she has the three of you, looks up to see Shulaman, and then the great kind of like meteor swarm that's now coming down into the space. She banks left, she banks right. Um, Asborn and Thyssen, give me strength checks, please. Okay. First rolls of the night. I got a four, but I am going to use Lucky to reroll. You getting a four is terrifying. <laughs> you know, first roll of the night. Okay, a 12. Is a 12 better? Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid strong. <laughs> okay, I, I, but it, it's a strength check, not an athletics check. I only have a plus three to my strength. Fair. Give me, give me an athletics check, and I'll easily get like a thirty. Tyson, are you back yet? I'm here. I've been here. Okay, what'd you get for your strength save or your strength oh, check? Strength check. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen. Oh. Surprisingly enough, out of fear and terror, Thyssen manages to hang on. Um, with Thyssen, Thyssen, you're holding on to the back of Fortuna. You can see that your other hand is wrapped around the waist of Asborn's grandmother. You watch as Asborn loses grip and she begins to tumble backwards and she's now free falling the remaining 180 feet down below. I thought she so was grappled was not what's his name? Yeah, Shulamon. I was grappled on was grappled with Shulamon on the Tenzu's yeah. disc. Yeah, but he had, he managed to fend you off. Okay. Because remember, he tossed you off, and as you were falling away, and Thyssen was down below falling away, and you were you decided to focus in on Mima after Thyssen was going that direction as well. That's when you saw Fortuna bank in and kind of come inward, and when we left off. Um, Shulman had put his hands up in the air, brought down the meteor swarm above everybody. Oh, I have an idea. Uh -oh. How far away is Asborn from the ground? About 180 feet. Uh, Remember, you're a cloud. Okay. Yeah, so but you... as a as a, I can still cast as long as it doesn't require uh, certain methods of casting. You don't have any hands or arms or... No, I don't need that. Um, well, hold on. Mm. Uh, you can see in gas form. I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm reading fine. it. No, no. I, you're... I have a plan. Okay. Then I will not... I still have, I still have a few dimension doors. Okay. I won't touch yeah. it then. I was going to use a spell slot, but if you've got yeah. something, I'm going to... Yeah, there. because those are my burner spell slots, so I'm okay. sure. So Tyson, being on the back of Fortuna... And holding on to Asborn's grandmother, Fortuna begins to bank away from the um, area of activity, heading off in the same direction that the others had kind of scattered about as the meteor swarm is now getting closer towards the base of the ruined tower. Um, Asborn, you're plummeting. I am going to Dimension Door onto Shulamon again and try okay. and grapple him you dimension door and you appear right where he is go ahead and give me an athletics check please <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> Aiden Aiden Dyson Dyson I need I need to call a friend right now yeah, 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 yeah. Should I use my last lucky on this? No, I'll just make you reroll. Okay. So I, can I reroll now? Yes. What's the range okay. on that, Tyson? Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's just if I see him. Double check that range. It's gonna be important. I I never rolled mind. a three and it ended up as an eighteen. It's it's thirty it's thirty feet. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm. I think I'm gonna have to use it then, Aiden. Yeah, let's just do it. All right. I surely won't fail again, right? Thirty-three. 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 I was about to say Three famous. That's your athletics, huh? I am a very strong bard. <laughs> 
So with that, once again, you and Shulamon are grappled. You have your arms wrapped around his chest and arms pulling him in just as the meteor swarm begins to pass by you. The heat of the rocks and these huge boulders plummeting by. Um, go ahead and take 20 points of fire damage, Asborn, as the radiated heat <laughs> goes by you. All of you on the peripheral of the area, you watch as these rocks slam down into the ground of the base of the tower. You can see a great plume of rubble and smoke begin to <laughs> shockwave out. But in your gaseous forms, you manage to just kind of move with the form and avoid any damage or effect by it. Once the rubble and dust clears, all of you are on the perimeter of the site. You can see Fortuna's huge wings kind of flapping. You can tell that she took a little bit of damage from escaping the area. But it's as the smoke and debris clear... You can see down in the pit of ruin and destruction, Shulaman being grappled by Asborn. I need everybody to roll for initiative, please. Just to clarify, as we're rolling, are they on top of all the rubble or are they still like in the air? They're still in the air, but oh, not yeah. as high. Oh. I need to pull out the physical dice now. All right, here we go. Let's see if I get another zero. <laughs> I almost thought that I did, but it's a seven and not a one. After like a year <laughs> sitting in my backpack, they finally return. So it's a six for me. I'm gonna get it. A six? Yes, because I have negative one to initiative. Well, I should move my water. <laughs> oh my that God. Is. Oh, that sounded so not that's, beautiful. That's for yeah. sure a dad sneeze. I was just <laughs> going to say. I couldn't mute it. Like I you have your first it child, you, you just, your sneeze just goes tenfold. <laughs> okay. This is very helpful to be able to see. Thank you. I was confused, but now I understand. <laughs> 21. Are all those clouds us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's actually, you guys are on the outskirts of the site. You'll be able to come in because you obviously can't really fight in cloud form. So once you swoop in, because you can be like hundreds of feet out, you could also move hundreds of feet in. So I will say I reread the wind walk spell and giving you a heads up. If I end the spell, you will all fall safely to the ground. From any height? It says... Uh, if the creature is in cloud form and flying when the effect ends, the creature descends 60 feet per round for one minute until it lands, which it does safely. However, it has to be within that minute. If it do can't land after one minute, the creature falls the remaining distance. So basically get as close as you can to the ground. So you can instantaneously end it and we don't have to wait for the full minute to transform. So that's like 600 feet you could fall, Think? basically. That's pretty chill. Damn, Thyson. God damn, how do you even get that many? I, I roll to disintegrate him and he loses. I went like the seven. second round, you disintegrate him. Samara, and... you're such if our, I had... you are such our Ashley Johnson. I can't. And the I... funny thing is, and Mara can attest to this, is it's not just in this game. It was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Every single time it's like, and they, they see it. I rolled like three ones in a row. No, four ones in a row, and then you rolled two or three twos. Yeah, it was You're really good. both bad. Ashley Johnson and Will Wheaton at the same time. It's terrifying. Exactly. It's really she had disadvantage terrifying. or something. Alex, for I've completely reason. forgotten which letter represented which in the spreadsheet. <laughs> it, it, it is A, T, and S. Take a guess. Uh, Who is A? Oh, I got it now. Okay, thank you. Who, who is T? Who is A, P, and S? Was that anal penetration system one? Is that what that uh, is? We we have a name for this plan too. Don't worry, it's a cooler <laughs> name this time. What was the last one? It was like chain lightning, chain alpha. delta omega. Oh, chain delta <laughs> omega. Okay. All right. So with that, Dyson, you are up with Tobias on deck. Dyson, you're currently on the back of Fortuna. You've allowed. Asborn's grandmother to recover. She is on the back of Fortuna as well. 
You're about 300 feet outside of the cratered um, uh, base of the tower. In the middle of the tower, you can see the smoky remains of the destroyed area. Um, and it, uh, about 30 feet up in the air, you can see both Shulamon and Asborn in kind of like a kind of contested grapple at this point. How many feet up in the air? They're 30 feet in the air. You're about okay. 300 feet away. Okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna crawl over to Fortuna's head and tell her, "Up, fly up." Um. Yes, of course. But where are we going? What the? I'm what am I doing? Point, I, I didn't point. plan on fighting with you, uh, Tyson. I'm very fond of you. Well, I was fond of Sigmund. Um. Then you became. I just else. need you to get me near oh. the motherfucker up there. Uh, uh, absolutely. I will. I will. I will. I will do my best. Where did I put you? Oh, there you are. You do exist. You do exist. You do. You exist? Yes. Where is... Oh. <laughs> you know, normally I have this better prepared, but... Day of days. Day of days. Can't believe you're going into battle with your best friend's grandmother on the back of a dragon. <laughs> that was unintentional. A worthy sacrifice. <laughs> Just don't tell my grandma. <laughs> don't Just tell my Nemo. I don't exactly have a Mima figure, so we will just. Be presumptuous in our assumptions. Question. Sorel's the demon that we are, have the pact with, with Tobias, right? Uh, that pact was concluded at the point know, of the I'm... collapsing of the veil. So that's why the devil is gone. Yeah, but who was that? What demon was that again? Uh, Zorel. Zorel, right. Yep. And the other one was Asmodeus. <laughs> I know it's exactly what No, I think it was right Despater, now. wasn't it? The other one was just Spader. Okay. All right. My turn. Fool me up. Thank God. I'm going to use arcane. Um, not arcane. Uh, momentary stasis. So he has to make a con save. He will react to that. What level are you casting? That's not a spell. That's a feature slash trait. Oh, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He will burn a legendary resistance on that one. That makes sense. Like, burning legendary Bye. resistance. Like, he has his last one. Of? Oh, oh. Uh, wait, uh. wait a minute. He burned a bunch of them last game. Yeah, he burned. Yeah, I thought uh, you said he burned his last one. No, he still. He's. Are you kidding me? He's got seven. Oh come on. <laughs> we, we've gone through. I think I went through three on him, and then that's four. Wait so a minute. Okay. No, there was there was two on you and then one on Sison. So so yeah, that's four. Mm -hmm. That's why I have the number four on that asterisk. Okay. Okay, we just gotta we just got to plant normally. I mm, wanna do it now. Now? Now Okay. We can try. Well, was that a bonus action or action, Tyson? That was bonus action. Okay. No, that's an action, I thought. And you oh, have haste still. You, ha you still that have haste. I have haste still. Yeah. Yes. Right. And it's not a spell, so I can still cast one. I'll do it. All me right. And, me and Tyson both have haste still. Clap my hands together. This is our final plan. Asborn's plan bat out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks at naming them. He's so bad. It's great. Right underneath, just directly underneath, uh, what's his name? Shulamon. Shulamon. I am going to use the ninth level spell. Uh, where is it? Gate. Okay, yeah, you've done this before. Well, I was going to do this before. Yeah. I didn't get to finish it well no we, i was afraid you had another encounter we you did this didn't you it wasn't gate it was a um what's it called it was the one that opens like a pocket dimension 
Oh yeah, that's right. This one just lets me create a gate to any place in the entire like planes of existence. All right. So bonus action, the gate comes into existence. No, that's just my hasted action. Oh, your hasted action. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The gate comes into existence. I get to choose where it goes. Do you want me to say it, or you want me to hold it? Hold the uh, it goes. Totally up to you. The gate leads directly to the circle of hell containing uh, what's his name? The spader. Yeah. The spader, which is the second level. Mm-hmm of this okay i've got it marked down um he is not going to challenge that yes yes <laughs> he that knows He's turn? clown to clown communication yeah that's the end of my turn all right uh tobias you are up with shulaman on deck okay oops let me go back to sorry looking at my character and are you sheet. concentrating on gate is that concentration Oh, uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, uh, Pretty sure it's dur duration, but just in case. No, it's concentration, yeah. Okay. Uh, my mouse disappeared. I'm right here. Not that mouse. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was weird. My mouse just, like, completely disappeared. That was weird. So that is concentration. Haste is not, right? Haste is duration? Duration, yes. Wait. And you're hasted as well, aren't you? Uh... Yes. Wish I could get hasted. Next time, if we live through this. <laughs> so yeah, I believe you are hasted, Asborn. <clears throat> Bison is hasted and concentrated. So I have that. All right, Tobias, you're up. What are you doing? You're 300 feet out, which is a normal move for a cloud. Okay. So you can place gonna... yourself anywhere on the table you want. I want and then to be... as soon as you do, Samara yeah. will say you simultaneously will drop the effect so that, you know, at the beginning of everyone's turn, obviously they'll go back to their... Um, normal cells without having to require the minute. Or am I holding that until everybody moves in place? Or am I just saying, go? Well, I'm going to land, I'm going to land right at the base of where he's at and okay. on the ground next to the, uh, yeah, to the other, uh, to the other side of that thing. Right there. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to invoke my armor's power of invulnerability. So, and how long does that last for? 10 minutes. Okay. So for 10 minutes, you are now invulnerable. Yeah. And I'm guess I'm waiting to be- Was it 10 not, minutes or 10 rounds? 10 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Nice, huh? Um, Am I? Can I attack now, or do do I have to no, wait to be not a cloud? No, you're still in cloud form. So okay. until Samara's turn, everybody will be in cloud form. Top okay. The first round. All right. So with that, Shulman's going to go. <clears throat> um. Asborn, give me an intelligence save, please. Oh, I'm not a very smart cookie. We know. It's okay. Um, 18. 18. You watch as seven spheres begin to wrap around Shulaman. One of the spheres glows like a bright yellow and slams into the side of your head. Um, you're going to take 82 points of psychic damage. You did not save. Um, are you concentrating on anything right now? I shouldn't be. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me athletics at disadvantage as he's going to use his action to try to break out of your grapple. I'm already down from that. Oh, you're already unconscious? Yes. Okay. 
so you are now falling and you fall through the gate. No! <laughs> that out of hell has gone to shit! No! No, not yet. You're in the process of falling. Wow. Um, you're in the process of falling. At the beginning of your next turn, your unconscious form is going to fall through that gate. So that's currently what's going on with you. Uh, his action was to... Uh, that was his bonus action was to summon the seven seals his action was to get unrestrained from you now he can move um he is going to move over to here into the tower ruin and he's not going to do anything else yet all right um asborn give me a death save please as you're falling okay 13. That will be a success. Does anybody have an available reaction before he fall before she falls through the gate? Um, <laughs> not in cloud form, we don't. Not in cloud form. <laughs> it's all Yeah, we're all bison. clouds. Styson and Mima. 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 For Fortuna, can Fortuna do anything? For Fortuna. Yeah, yeah. Styson, Mima, or Fortuna. Do you Checking still have your um, right homunculi? Yeah. Just I don't away. think Thyssen cares that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably laughing. Look, he's going to fall through my gate. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't one of those doorway gate? gates where you can just come on back, right? <laughs> no, it is. Okay. What is? Oh, okay. Well, that's less scary then. Just falling through it unconscious is a separate issue. Yeah. So, like, someone could theoretically dive after her and then come back. Yeah. It's clearly less than ideal. I mean, I have something that I could do, but I'm last in the order, so. Who knows? <laughs> He was talking about me. So even though you yeah. made your um, you made your death save, um, you at the end of your turn, you fall through the gate. So with that, Mara, you are up with a fire on deck. Okay. Um. So Shulman just went over to the ruins. You said, "Is yep. that so right here?" Sorry, is that solid beneath him, or is it still floating in the air? Hard to tell. Hard to tell. Cool. Um, could I cloud myself over to there? Well, I mean, if you want to get super cool, sure. Um, oh, there you are. I I couldn't find your mini, so now I found it. Yay, I found it. Yay. Um, so when you say over there, you want to put your cloud form in front of them? Like when you're, well, when, when it I, drops, once you'll I be get in there, Once I get there, would I be able to see if there's something solid I could land on? Yeah, I'll say as you float over, you realize he's, he's standing on the ruined floor of the interior of that section of the tower. So I'd love to land on something solid where I'm like within melee of him. Okay. Um, I assume I cannot like activate my right or anything when I'm a cloud. No, nope, cause you can't no. self harm. Um, can I activate the wild mother's kiss when I'm a cloud? Um, I don't see why not. I'm pretty comfortable with that. I shall activate. I think that's more of an invocation of self than you have to physically do anything. Yeah, it's just like as I think it. I think there's no like yeah. touching or there's no incantation or anything. It's that's... just a like thing that happens. All right, so no that'll touching. finish I'll your do that. turn. <laughs> that'll finish your turn. Fire, you are up with Samara on deck. Okay, so the dude in the clouds. That's. Shulaman, I'm going yep. to. I don't want to be that close to him. 
because my range is pretty far. So I don't want to be that close. So put me in a corner farther away from him in the ruins. Cloud, 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 cloud. To the and right then... or the left? That's really hard to say. Uh, more towards my face on the screen. <laughs> Where's our ship at? It, it's landed, uh, remember? Landed. Yeah. And out of power. So do you want to be in this one? Oh, sure. No. 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 <laughs> So you want to be over here? Yeah. All right. You can't see me. <laughs> oh, now I can see me. Okay. So you're and still then, in cloud uh, form until, the, until Samara's turn. Until Samara's turn, yes. Correct. Um, and I can't do anything out of cloud form. Correct. Takes up can I channel divinity, try and... Um, what is Absolutely, that? Where that you ask your deity... Any... Yeah, it doesn't require any invocation, so you can certainly do that if cool. you want to. I want to try call and call on the traveler to <clears throat> give us a long rest instantly. Interesting. Roll that uh, D100. Please, please. Oh, it's not likely. I mean, well, she did I have roll to roll under a 19. Practice. I did roll a 12 during practice, but I, I'm... Would that even okay. affect that one? Like now that she's somewhere else? Yeah, she didn't fail her death save. Okay, come on. Well, she's I mean, in a different plane 19... of existence, so. Oh, shit. And the rest of us would get our spell what? slots back. That would be helpful. <laughs> I need under 19. It's not likely to happen, but we're going to try it. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. No, I got a 31. Close. <sighs> Nope, that's an 82. Where are you right now? That's an 82. Who, that's fire. a 99. Yeah. Damn it! Fire I need to roll way. low! Fire Why? is... That one was a 19. Uh, wow. Fire is 30 feet below you to your right. Oh. I choose to use a uh, Convergent Future. Oh, is that try a it reaction? Again? That is a reaction. Okay, yeah. That's no, that makes you work. succeed, Fire. Just automatically. Oh, well, that makes me succeed. Amazing. Will it work? I Will it fucking work? hate all of you right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a moment when all of you notice that with all the fire and the chaos of noise and destruction around you, there's just this peaceful, momentary sense of calm. And there's two things that you notice. You watch as this huge pearly white smile looks down into the ruin of the tower. And you feel this just kind of divinity, this energy pour into each one of you as each one of you take the immediate effect of a long rest. More importantly, you watch yes. as a long rested Asborn, she comes out of the gate. Oh, that saves so much oh. of our effort. Oh, thank God. <laughs> but that's your only divine intervention. You used it. Hey, I've never used it before. So, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, does that mean you have Convergent Future again, Bison? If it's a long one. rest, I, I, I lose the one point of exhaustion it would have given me, yes. Okay. It took a long rest. So that will finish Fire's turn. Samara, you are up. What are you doing? Okay. I uh, chose my turn wisely. I'm unclouding everybody. Would that okay. count as my action? Um, dropping, dropping concentration? Is that what it is? Basically, yeah. Now, I'll let that go as a free action. It's pretty, you know, you just... You just well, obviously, I move myself to a safe point first. I'm not going to just, like, drop while I'm... Right. Where I'm would you there. like to move to first? Um, but um, bum bum. So there's the thingy, and there's Shulaman, and we can't now, tell. Behind Fortuna is another high portion of the ruined tower, and it has a ledge. I don't think that's necessarily going to help me. How far away is the ledge from Shulaman? About 80 feet. Okay, and then how far? And I know, I'm sorry, there's a lot of math involved right now. A lot. <laughs> Thinking of the angles. Um, how far up is the 
portal from the ground? Um, I'd say it's hovering about 10 feet in the air where Thyssen placed it. Okay. Um, let me see what my spell says. Hold on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's 300 feet. Okay. Uh, sure. I will go land on top of that ledge. If I need to, I can get down later. Okay. So I'll uncloud everyone. And then I'm going to look over at Shulaman. Uh, which ledge are you going to? The, the one that you right? said was behind okay. uh, Fortuna. Okay. And since Good that back thing back. is only 10 feet up, I'm going to look over at Shulaman and I'm going to try cast... I'm going to try... Emphasis on try. Casting Earthbind and see if that'll drag him down. Ooh. Interesting. What's the save on that? Strength. Strength. Uh, he is going to burn a chrono slot. Damn it. Uh, that is a 21. Yeah, that made it. Um, chrono slot? Yeah, so that you was stole that. my mojo. That you did that stole time. your mojo. And I can do no bonus action, I don't think. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all I got. I'll wait until everybody else moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll finish round one. Back at the top of the round, Thyssen, you are up with Tobias on deck. He's counting the rounds. That means something's going to happen at a specific round. He always counts the rounds. <laughs> That's fair. I usually do always count the rounds. Um, <laughs> all right. So, new plan. I need you guys to, like, just hold him there for, like, a minute. A minute? And I would say... Let's Tyson, get it to my notice, turn and I can do it. Um, you notice that... Um, uh, Mara's a go-getter. Mara, Mara's solidified in base with <laughs> Uh To your right and behind you in Fortuna, you can see Samara has turned back into herself. Down below, you watched as Asborn came out of the gate fully refreshed due to the divine intervention. And you could also see Tobias behind a stack of rubble um, right below where Shulman and both um, uh, Mara are. And then back in the corner of the ruined tower, you can see uh, fire. And everybody is back in their solid forms. How far away from everyone am I? Um, you're probably within about 70 feet of everybody right now. Okay. Like, Mara's the furthest from you, if that makes sense. She's 70 feet away from you. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna reflexively use momentary stasis on him. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't do it. No, no, you don't get to do that. That's the fifth one. It's the fifth legendary resistance he will burn for that. Very such a little thing. Damn, damn. Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. He, he can't let that happen. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. Mama. Now, now that you cast momentary, um, momentary stasis and he burns his arcane will to resist it, he holds out his hand and then turns it in a counterclockwise motion towards you as he Can does chrono spell? shift. It is not a spell. He is that's, that's a back. True. He is turning back time on you, Tyson, as you and Fortuna disappear from the interior of the tower. Whoop. Whoop. And the two of you are back to being 300 feet away at the boundary of the beginning of your turn. All right, motherfucker. Don't like that. 
Well, neither does Fortuna, because she immediately rages and then whispers at you, what a dumb, stupid man. I'm just going to use my time to take us back there, but unfortunately, it's not my turn. Wow, she doesn't, it's not her turn? Where? <laughs> what? That's what okay. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to take out, what does the turn mean? I'm going to take out that one etched gem I made for the really big banishment spells. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I'm going to start using my ninth level spell to pump it full of uh, a new spell that okay. will go off in one minute. Okay. That'll finish your turn as you're waiting for Fortuna's turn. She will actually um, go last. Uh, no, 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 no. Fortuna's a um, 13. She goes before fire. Okay. So that'll finish Tyson's turn. Tobias, you are up with Shulaman on deck. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Get my thing up here. So do do. There we go. Uh. Okay. I'm and I'm not a cloud form now. You are no longer cloud form. Samara Yay. dropped the effect. Uh, okay. I will attack with my pistolas. For it as you turn and start shooting up in the Shulaman. Uh, 29. 29 hits. Okay, I just throw my, I'll do my attack rolls here. Okay. Uh, 27. Uh, 27 hits. A 23. You watch as there's a spark. Bullet ricochets off a shield around him. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to roll my damage. Today's daily rat math. <laughs> so true. We always take a pause for the rat math. While he's figuring out the math, I have a question for Mara really quick. Mara, you have a sword, right? Like a rapier, so you can stab yeah. through things? Yep. Okay, just out of curiosity. Stabby stab. Okay, it takes... Um... 60 points of damage. Well, he's supposed to take 60 points of damage. We'll see. Um, you watch as the two remaining hits from the bullets burn through the shield, but you get the feeling their force was slowed down. You get the feeling okay. he might be resistant to this damage. What kind of damage was that? Piercing. Piercing. Well, that's all I got, so... Uh, can I have your still have your move and your bonus action? Wait a minute, I need to do another attack. Hang on a second. Can I recon something real quick, Dad? Sure, what's up? I tell Fortuna not to go fly up at him. Okay. Her turn. So Tobias, Fair I enough. can remove his resistances in the future. I just I haven't activated my blood right yet. Alright. Um so we can pierce him in the future. Okay. Let me uh take my other attack with my other pistol here. Where is it? Okay. So. Oh, your bonus action okay. pistol? Your auto Yeah, pistol. my bonus action pistol. Uh, uh, 28. Uh, 28 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Um, hang on a second. First one, second one, second and third are attacks at disadvantage. So let me roll my other two attacks with it at disadvantage. Six. That's not going to hit. Well, let's see. It would be, it'd be twenty-two. That would miss, right? Uh, twenty-two. <laughs> Watch yeah. it ricochet off. And that's uh, thirty-two. So we got two, hit. two hit. Okay. So we'll take. All 
Alright, so I'll take. Get out of there. Stop. I don't want to see you. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> Be gone. So 24 hit more hit points of damage, and that, that, that'll be it for me. I'll just stay where I'm at. All right. So it was 24 total? Yeah. Okay, so half of that. All right, so at the end of your turn, Tobias... You watch as he will expend four legendary actions on you. He puts his hand out towards you and closes his fist. Um, go ahead and give me a strength save, please. Okay. Strength save, you throw a hold. 17? 17, that'll fail as you take 71 points of force damage. As you feel your whole body crush in on itself, and you are knocked prone to the ground. Okay. My invulnerability stops that? It does not, unfortunately. What? what? I'm immune to all damage. Mm, not this one. You get the feeling that the way it worked, it worked in your mind. And everybody that watched that happen to Tobias, you notice that one of the seven spheres that is rotating around Shulaman glows brightly and you watch as Tobias is crushed inside that containment of invulnerability was uh, did he cast a spell is that a spell uh, it doesn't look like it he didn't move he's like he's not even physically acknowledging much it's almost like these seven orbs that are kind of rotating around him seem to be doing the work That will finish Tobias's turn. Shulamon is up. He is going to summon. That's terrible. I think it's the chained oblivion, you know, working through him. They will have summoning sickness, so they cannot do anything this turn. That was his action. Bonus action. He is was that going... a spell? Was that a spell? Yeah, no. was summoning a spell? No, not for him. Oh my god. We tried. Once again, though, Mar, with you being in base, one of the orbs flared, and then the two demons appeared up in the air. Don't like this. Um, so you guys, I don't think it's I think it's I think it's the chained oblivion. Shoot the orbs. Those pigeons, man. <laughs> Um, do, 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 do. I'm Mara, telepathic. Save, please. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> she muted me. That way she doesn't have to answer. <laughs> Wait, Mara muted you? Well, yeah, I need a wisdom save for Mara. Sorry, uh, I just got bombarded. Hold on. Of, of course you did. Hug attack. <laughs> Yeah, that's a fail. That's a six plus very low. Wisdom, three, nine. Okay. You're currently paralyzed. Oh. As you watch one of the other orbs flare, and you watch as um, Mara goes rigid, unable to move. That will finish Shulamon's turn. He's not going to move. Uh, Asborn. Oh, wait, was that, a, I'm sorry, was that a magical effect? Effect. I think I have advantage from if my mage a, player. I would describe it as a magical effect, just not a spell. So yeah, go ahead and make another save. Wait, hold on. Feet. Spells. No. Spells cast by creatures within five feet of you. No, unfortunately it was not a spell. I hate everything. All right, paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> So with that, Asborn, you are up with Amara on deck. Okay, I'm going to use Hold Person twice on him. Okay. Is there a save for that? I forget. Uh, Wisdom 17. Okay. First one is a 26. 
Mm -hmm. Second one is a 19. He is a very wise man. Oh, I'm pulling out all the stops. This guy's using everything he has. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Because there is one weakness that can kill him outright. There's one thing you guys have that can kill him outright. A kiss? Is it love? Love. Is it a kiss on the lip? We got that. We got that thing to use on him. That Dyson has. Oh, the the from the Bright Queen. Yeah. Well, it does not that. That's more. Don't worry about chain lightning Omega Twenty (laughs) Seven plan. Just get that fucking thing out and use it. (laughs) For Christ's sakes. One thing that we have that can kill him outright. Mar, what do you? Uh, what did you get on your roll for your second one? I didn't roll the second one. I'm sorry. It's very loud at my house. Oh, seventeen. Uh, uh, that's still gonna fail. Um, so Asborn, you come back to consciousness. You have the strange sensation of like ringing laughter in your ear, and the sound of drinks being clinked. Um, you get a full recovery and you're brought back through the gate and you're now on the other side of the gate to see these two winged demons hovering up above you. Mara has been paralyzed directly in front of Shulaman. Um, uh, Tobias is down by the rock pile. You can see fire down to the right and Samara up on the tower. What would you like to do? And then Mara's on deck. For me? Okay. Yeah, you're up. I, I already used my two hold persons. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I meant to say move or bonus action. Yes. For bonus action, I will give Mara Bardic Inspiration. All right. Yo, you're Marty. looking really great today, Mara. You're paralyzed, but you look fantastic. <laughs> Pretty right, sure I'm going to need that. I only have a plus three. <laughs> And then movement. Where am I? Flying at all? Or you? Would you be considered on the ground? I'm not sure because. Do you have an effect for fly? Nope, I do not. All right, then you'd be on the ground. And then for movement, who is the closest person I can stand next to? Uh, Tobias is 10 feet from you. I will stand next to Tobias. And then that will end my turn. All right. I'll end your turn. Mara, you can do nothing because you're paralyzed. So at the end of your turn, Mara, give me another wisdom save. What is the inspiration? D10 or D12 now, Asborn? Uh, The inspiration? Oh, shoot. Let's put a D10. D10. Yep. Probably for sure going to need that. Yeah, I wasn't sure what level bar. Oh, you'd... well, that's a natural one, so I'm not going to waste a D10. <laughs> <laughs> You're well, still think. held in that containment. Um, that will finish Mars' turn. Fire, you are up with. Um, oh, no, sorry. Uh, and Tyson, you said t- that you do Fortuna. not want Fortuna to move into base, correct? Or move down into the tower? Mm, never mind. We'll have her move up. Okay. Do you want her to move into base with one of the demons? Because she will and get all five it. of her attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ah. You know, I got this extra long cord and I... St- Still drives me crazy. All right. Let me roll her attacks really quick. That is a hit. 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 That's my wife. Uh, And she's going to go ahead and she is going to use breath weapon. That'll be a save. So they'll only take half damage on that. That is... So a total of 82 points of damage as she is now fully engaged with one of the demons. Um, that'll finish Fortuna's turn. Fire, you're up with Samara on deck. Okay. 
I'm going to pull out that box with the small floating skull in it. And I'm going to... Really? Well... <laughs> Do you even know what maybe? it does yet? Yeah. yeah. It summons a greater bone devil. It does. Now, when Bison was telling me about it, we can, like, <laughs> control it, right? As long as you don't go unconscious, or it can try to get away from you, but as long as you maintain that skull in your hand, you don't, you know, lose track of that skull or you go unconscious, uh, you know, it should be fine. As far as you recall, Thyssen telling you that. What do you think, guys? What do you think? <laughs> I mean, fuck it. Throw everything in. Well, I mean, you know, like, we got it. It might kill us. But it also might not. And it might kill him. No, I but doubt I it. Kill him. Him on. No, I was going to do it at the other devil. The fortune is not. Right. Are they doing it at Shulaman? Sure, Shulaman. Oh, no, probably not. The the other, the daddy. Is that the one that I painted half of? Yes. <laughs> hey, Carolyn finished it. Awesome. She did. <laughs> I agree, Sebastian. I agree. Fire is doing her 20-minute I don't know what to do. No, we're... You... <laughs> Look at okay. it this way. This is the last game you'll have to put up with it. I know, right? <laughs> no, it's not. You, between Callista and Ivar, I mean, it's 30 minutes of math and indecision. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I mean, when am I not? I'm, I'm, if I either use it now or I don't use it. Where would you like it to go? After the. I'm going to roll uh, evens. It's Shulamon. Odds, it's uh, the, the devil with wings. Oh, I guess they both have wings. Do they both have wings? Yes. I rolled a 20! So it's the demon with... Wait, what did I say? Shulamon. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Sebastian. Your mother's silly. Really? Does it have summoning sickness? Because it didn't say. Yeah, it does. It'll summon right behind Shulaman. Okay, so that's uh, that, my bonus action. I yeah, mean, that's my action. To, don't forget to look up the stats of the. Uh, I did. Devil. Okay. I did. Uh, it's got multi attack, claw, and a sting. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, buddy. Hold on, I gotta go grab him. Um, and I have. Does that count as a spell? That counts as your action. But it's not a spell, so I could cast a bonus action spell. Yeah, because just summoning is the invocation of the device. What bonus actions do I have that are spells? I think I only have. Oh my gosh, it's okay. It's okay. Spiritual weapon is my only bonus action spell. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I want to heal, but we're all good right now. So I'm going to. Sure, spiritual weapon. Okay. And I want to move. Uh, so I'm like. Oh my God, would you go get him? Fine. <laughs> Well, he's only 10 feet away from you. <laughs> Not even. Exactly. He's like five feet away. Um, okay. I'm going to like put spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon on the, the demon that Fortuna is fighting. That's not stopping. Okay. Go ahead and roll your attack. No, nope, that'll miss. That'll finish your turn. Um, Samara, 
you're up. Then we'll be at the top of the third round. Okay, so nothing is attacking the demon right in front of me. Nope. Okay. I would like to cast... How high up is he? Uh, he's almost even with you. He's a, he's about 40 feet up in the air and 10 feet below you. So he's 40 feet up. From the ground, but 10 feet below you. Poop sandwich. That doesn't help because I had a thing that I wanted to do. Um, and it says up to 20 feet high, so that doesn't work. Well, shit. How about instead... I will the same, yeah. Um, if I cast an earth elemental, they're like stone, right? Sure. Okay. If I if I cast conjure elemental and I conjure it like right above him, can the earth elemental as he's falling grapple? I don't see why not. I think that's really fucking cool. Okay, so I'm gonna just. Boop, Earth Elemental, and have him fall and say, grab him! We love grappling. Hopefully Clearly. he can be heavy enough to drag him down. All right. Give now, me I'm picturing, now I'm picturing the whale from <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that scene. Uh, go ahead and give me athletics for your Earth Elemental. Uh, let me pull up the stats for an Earth Elemental. Sorry. I was planning on doing something else, so... <laughs> There's that, and athletics, you said? Yep. It's strength-based, right? Yep. Okay, so come on, dice. Don't mess with me now. Come on. Oh, 15. Uh, better than my 14. Oof. Ooh. This is why we love grappling. I hate you, Asborg. And mages, mages can get it. That's all I'm saying. I'd like him to like be heavy enough to where they're hopefully fingers crossed going to do a little bit of damage as he lands on top of the guy. So we'll say that they are grappled and both prone on the ground as they're both like just <laughs> under the ground. Um, I'm going to roll falling damage. Okay. Give him 21 points of falling damage. And he is prone while being grappled by the earth elemental. So that's your elemental's action is to grapple. Yes. Uh, after it's summoned. That's your action to summon it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so have your I bonus action and your move. I have no bonus action. Is there another ledge lower? It looks there like. There is, about 10 feet below you. I can bonus action Misty Step. Can I just bonus action? Yep. Like straight down? Yep. Just to be a little bit closer. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's a great shot. I like that. I'm going to have like all these pictures to post for tomorrow. <laughs> I want some WWE Smackdown into there. <laughs> I love it when you guys pull out all the stops, so that's for sure. All right, that'll take us to the top of the third round. Thyson, you are up with Tobias on deck. Okay. I'm gonna I'm literally gonna do it again. I'm a maniac. I'm a monster. I'm doing it again. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Momentary stasis. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a save for that? Uh yes. Uh, Constitution. Con, not his best stat. However, that is a 19 plus 3, 22. I choose to make him re-roll with my reaction. Okay. Uh, fuck me sideways. 9 plus 3 is a 12. That's a failure. He is now um, incapacitated and has a speed of 0. All right. Until, what is it, the end of my turn? The end of my next the turn? end of your next turn, I believe. Until the end of, yeah, to the end of my next turn or until he takes damage. Yep. Okay, that's my action. And then my other action I'm using to channel more into the spell. Because it takes a whole okay. minute to cast. Yep, so that's the second round of casting into the gem? Yeah. And this yeah. is the one that the... Uh, 
Sprite Queen gave you, correct? Or no, is this I made the this one myself. that you were doing the re research on. The research on the one I made myself. Okay. Like right. breaking myself. Okay. That will finish your turn. Tobias, you are up with Shulaman on deck. You're muted, Tobias. Guys, it might be that that phase. Was it the Am phase I being crushed, or what stone? do I need to do to uh, save? You're just, you were just momentarily crushed and prone to the ground. So you're just oh, prone. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, from here, I'll go ahead and shoot. I'm going to aim for the spheres. One of the spheres. Go for it. Twenty-five. Twenty-five will just hit. Okay, and I'm gonna do my damage on it. There's seven of them. Yep. So before you roll your damage, let uh -huh. me ask you. Yeah. Let me bring this up for you really quick. There is a purple one, a gold one, red, green, orange, pink, and blue. Green, orange. The one that crushed you, um, it looked like a green flare of the orb. What 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 brought those demons into, which one flared those, when the demons showed up? That was the red one. Okay, I'm going to... Those are the, the same one. colors... Those are the same colors as the skulls and the, the um, whatchamacallit, the towers were, right? The chains yep. for the people, for yep. our family members? Okay. Here comes all that math. It'll be quick. So it'd be uh, 55 hit points of damage to the red one. Nice. You watch as the red orb <laughs> comes apart. And as it does, you watch as the form that Shulaman has taken glitches, shakes for a moment. Two demons are still there. Cool. You've definitely weakened his ability to summon more. Okay, I'm gonna shoot another one. Did um did the chain go away or the or the ring go away? The what? The red ring, is it still there or did it go away? The red ring. I don't the know. Chain, what you mean. The, the red disappear. orb? The red, red orb, orb disappeared. Red. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I, I said that already, so I was confused. You must have not heard me. So Okay, I'm gonna shoot another one. I'll shoot the uh Purple one. Okay. It's going to be uh, 31. That'll definitely hit. Roll for damage. All right. Uh, 21 points of damage. It takes damage. You see that there's fractures and sparks coming off of it, but it is still whole. Okay, I'll shoot the. I'll shoot it again with my my third shot. Okay. Uh, Thirty-three. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Eighteen points of damage. It is very damaged, but barely holding together. Okay. And I'm going to use my, uh, my other pistol. Uh, 26. That'll just, that'll hit. Okay. So <clears throat> it'll take, um, Uh, 18 points of damage again. Uh, that will destroy it. As you watch, the purple one is now gone. Okay, I'll take my second shot at disadvantage with, with this one. that, Mara, you are no longer oh. um, paralyzed. 
Woo! Thanks, guys. No problem. And then, uh, let's see. So, let's say that's going to be uh, a 21. Does that hit? 21 will miss. The bullet ricocheting okay, off the shield around Shulaman. And that's going to miss two. No, not. Yeah, okay. I'm still shooting at the orbs. Okay. All right, I missed the last two, so. All right, you still have your move. You're currently light prone on the ground. Uh, you have to get up. Okay. Um, and then, uh, that's good. I'll stay where I'm at. Okay. That'll finish your turn. Shulaman is up. He is currently in stasis. Cannot do anything. Um, however, the demons no longer have summoning sickness. The one engaged with Fortuna, Thyssen, is going to take four attacks at you. Big and cringe, isn't it? That's going to be a 10. That'll miss. A 22, 26, okay. and a 23. Okay. Three hit. <laughs> Three hit? If you could believe it. That is going to be 36 points of slashing damage. Oh, okay. It's going to bonus action. Uh, give me a deck save, please. Is it, It's going to bonus action use its fire breath on you. Got like a massive dragon digging into your guts and you want to attack me? Seems kind of weird, man. Well, it was summoned by Shulman, so it has to follow his command. By the way, are you currently concentrating on anything? Uh, no. You're concentrating on the gate, aren't you? No? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me... 36? Yeah. Um, well, no, remember, that's combined. So give me three um, uh, concentration saves of 10 or higher. Okay. That's high enough. That's definitely high enough. All successes. Okay. Go ahead and give me a deck save. And the deck save is 19. That'll save. You take half of 29 points of fire damage. So you'll take only 14 points of fire damage. Um, the other demon is going to attempt to bite the rock elemental or the earth elemental. Break his teeth. Probably. Uh, that is a dirty 20. Yeah. Samar. It'll hit. That's going to be 21 points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, it is also going to use its fire breath. Have the uh, fire elemental give me, or the earth elemental give me a deck save, please. It is not very dexterous. It is, yeah, that's a one, so it does not do that. It was 21 14. points of damage the first time, right? Yeah, 20. And then 24 points of fire damage. Be sure you check its resistances, because it might be resistant to fire. Uh, damage immunity is only... Damage resistance, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, immunity is poison. So half of 21 for piercing damage. So 10 for piercing and 24 for fire damage. Okay. That'll finish their turn. Shulman cannot do anything. Isn't uh, he still we're... grappled? Uh, yeah, he's still grappled. So Grappled he... doesn't prevent him from attacking. Okay. He just can't move. He's grappled. Okay. And rather than contest it, he just kind of bit into the elemental and then blew fire into its face at the same time. Gotcha. It decided not to break the grapple. Um, we are on round three, so that cannot happen yet. Um... <laughs> Asborn, right. you are. I told up. you he was counting. Asborn, you are up with Mara on deck. Hmm. I guess I will. I'm going to cast Hold Person again on him. On Shulaman? Yep. He, uh, what's the save on that? 17. What's the. Um, wisdom. 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 Thank you. Yes. That is 19 plus 7, 26. Dang. 
Okay. The next His wisdom I... and intelligence are pretty high. Yeah, I'm just trying to get that last spell slot. And then the last thing I am going to do is I'm going to cast silence on him. Okay. And there's no save for that, right? Nope. I just cast it. Yep. There's a, there's a bubble, bubble around him. There's a bubble of silence now around his shoulders and head. Just hovering there. Ooh. Shulamon is so stinky. He's so stinky. Ha, he can't <laughs> hear me. <laughs> Do we all That'll get Bardic finish. Inspiration for that? Ah, uh, I wish. Uh, <laughs> for my bonus action, I will also cast... Or not cast, I will use... Uh, what's the echo? Manifest Echo. There you go. Okay. To summon my Echo Knight, and I'll summon it next to Shulavon. Right. Wait, what is the range again? 60 feet, isn't it? Oh, no, it's 15 feet. How far is he from me? Oh, he's about 40 feet from you. 40 feet? Okay. Then uh, I'll have it right next to me, then. Okay. Good night. Right in next to you. Man, we're using all the miniatures tonight, aren't we? Um, it is a fruit salad on my table. Um, that'll finish Asborn's turn. Mara, you're no longer paralyzed. You are up. Um, not only is there a strange bubble of silence around the top portion of Shulamon, one of the orbs is severely, um, no, two of the orbs have been destroyed. Um, there are five orbs remaining. Um, it's chaos all around you at this point. Mm -hmm. And you just mm -hmm. watch as a bone devil was summoned behind Shulamon's form. Uh, also within melee? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like right behind behind him in the tower. Okay. Um, so I'd like to activate my blood, right? Okay. That's a bonus action. <laughs> yeah, only one point of damage. Well, that's good. What a great crappy roll that was. Um, okay, then how high up are the orbs? They're just circling around Shulman's form. So they're within my reach. Mm -hmm. They are. Okay. Ooh. The red and purple one have been destroyed. You currently can see orange, green, pink, blue, and yellow. No, cool. I wanna I wanna swing at Shulamon. Okay. Go I'm for it. Punching. Okay. Um that's a twenty six. Twenty six will hit. You feel your blade slowly move through a barrier and Weird. slam into his form. Um, so is he a fey fiend or undead? No, he is none of those. Okay. Um, do I need to separate out, separate out my radiant damage? Yes, you do. Okay. Radiant uh, will be normal. Everything else will be resisted. Okay. Um, so then that's shitty. Um, that's 12 piercing. And four radiant. Okay. Um, and I would like to extract extract aspects. Uh, give me intelligence save, please. Oh god. You do that. Oh, shit. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. You'll take uh, forty-one points of oh. psychic damage Ouch. from the effect. However, you'll realize that he is immune to all conditions. He cannot be. Um, uh, with the exception of being grappled, it's the only thing I didn't put in for his immunity. Um, but he's immune I to being grapple. pushed. Um, he's, you know, so most conditions he seems to be immune to. He is also immune to cold, fire, poison, and necrotic damage. He is resistant to all magic and physical damage. And um, he also has what he calls the evocation of the spheres and each sphere operates on its own accord it does not operate according to his will um you get the sense that what you have here is an avatar of a divine creature okay okay um also I would 
you because you goddamn because you did that. The necklace around your neck. My necklace. Yeah, the one that was given to you by. By um, Mama Yeah. Yeah. There's a thin tendril of energy connected, and inside the avatar is a severely disfigured and suffering physical form of Shulamat. The tendril of the necklace is coursing down and into the avatar's form. Oh, God. Okay. It's horrifying. Okay. Um, I'm going to brand him with a brand of tethering so he can't leave. He And your aspect would have told you he's immune to that effect. Damn it. Okay. Well... Sorry, I tried. Okay. Um, I'm going to yell out, stick to radiant damage. And I'm going to take my second swipe at the nearest orb. Okay. Go ahead and roll um, the hit. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a 30. 30 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Which orb are you going for? Uh, There's well, five colors left. Let's do, is there gold still? Yep. yep. Gold. Let's do gold. Okay. Um, it's actually do a I, good one to go after. Do I need to separate <laughs> out my damage types? Uh, for these, no. You're no. good for these. Okay. Ooh, it's a good roll. Uh, tw- tw- Twenty-two. Twenty-two. It is significantly damaged, but the gold one is still functional. Okay. I. The, yeah, they're not faithing or ended either, so I can't do anything there. Okay. Um, I think that's all I can do. All right, that'll finish your turn. Um, Fortuna, uh, fire. Um, you are up. Or no, Fortuna For- first. Fortuna. Fortuna's gonna take all of her attacks. Let me check her breath weapon. It does not recharge, so she'll do two claws. Both will hit. She'll do a tail. That will miss. She'll do two bites. One will miss, one will hit. That's 36 points of damage. The demon's looking a little raggedy, but still in the fight. Um, that'll finish Fortuna's turn. Uh, fire. You and the Bone Devil are up with Samara on deck. Okay. I gotta have the Bone Devil go first. Okay. Um, he's gonna attack Shulamon. Go for it. Uh, Sorry, when I meant immune to conditions, uh, Mara, I meant charm, fear, those conditions. Two claws and a sting. Go for it. So the first claw is a 10. The second claw is a dirty 20. No. That'll miss. No, no, no. My bad. Uh... 18 plus 8. <coughs> That'll hit. Okay. And then the sting is 16 plus 8. 24. 24 will just barely miss. Okay. He fell asleep on me, so I'm trying to do this all one-handed. So the claw... <laughs> is he asleep on your lap? Yes. I'm doing all this one-handed. Well, it's not a lot. Seven points of damage. Okay. My spiritual weapon. Okay. On the demon. Go for it. On the demon, which I didn't get to attack with the last time because the baby was screaming. No, you did. You Um, rolled and you said you missed. Oh, right, right, right. I rolled a a five, so I would have gotten a... um, what is the attack on spiritual weapon? I would have gotten a 15. I figured a 15 wouldn't hit. It would not. Yeah. Spiritual weapon, 25. 25 will definitely hit. Roll for damage. Uh, nine. Nine points. Okay. And okay. I am going to... Have your action and your move. <laughs> guiding bolt. Yes. Going to guiding bolt... Gold sphere. Go for it. Where is there it is? 
Guiding bolt, the gold sphere. Okay. 29. 29 will hit. Roll for damage. Let me find my D6s. One, two, three, four. Just did first level. We'll see what that gets. Um, eight plus 11, right? Right, yeah. 11, uh, 19. 17. 17. Eight. Eight 17. plus 11. No, 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 no. Um, eight, and then it became 11, and then it became 16 or 17. Gotcha. It's severely damaged, but still holding its form. Damn it. Okay. Um, and I don't have a, a bonus action spell so that I can catch. Well, you can't already it, used so. your bonus action. Oh, right. Spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You still have your move. I don't... Can I get around that mass of flaily demon and... Uh, sure. Okay. I just want to be maybe 10 feet closer. But not next to... I don't want to be in melee with them. Okay, well, 10 feet closer, we'll put you in melee with them. Let's go by the rocks um, at the end of that that uh, wall. Are you Probably. trying to get over... Are you trying to get over them, Fire? Kind of, like, yeah. Okay, Just I think them. I can do... I can do something on my turn. No, I'm, I'm good right there. I just... I want to be kind of within 60 feet of everybody because my heels... Um, you need to, I need to be in, within 60 feet. Makes sense. Okay, that's my turn. All right, I'll finish Fire's turn. Samara, you are up. Then we'll be at the top of the fourth round. Okay, so I'm going to have my Earth Elemental do his thing. Um, so he gets a multi-attack. He gets two slam attacks. Now, since he's holding the guy, can he, like, body slam him? Um... I would consider them both the same size, so sure. If he wants to pick them up and slam them into the ground, I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, we'll just make it a contest, so uh, give me athletics. That is a dirty 20. Uh, this is a 10 plus 5 is a 15. Nice. That's the first one. And do you want the second one before I do the damage or damage it's up first? to you. Okay, I'll do the second one. Okay. That is a 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. Uh, that is a 19 for me. Okay. Two body slams. Two body slams. Into the ground. So that's going to be 4D8. Oh, I was not counting correctly, but it's fine. They both made it anyways. Um, so it's... Eight, uh, so that's... Nine and nine is 18, plus another 10 is 28 budgeting damage. Okay. There you go. Nice. And, and I will still consider it grappled as well. Okay. And then. Okay. So that was your elemental's turn? That was my elemental's turn. My problem is, is that so many of my spells are concentration. So I can't really do anything else. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can tackle. I was struggling while I was waiting for my turn. Um, <laughs> yeah, like everything. The struggle is real. The struggle is real, folks. Yeah, everything useful is uh, concentration. So, Mara, are you really hurt? No. Okay. I guess I'll just stay there. I. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, that right, doesn't make sense for your turn. Take yeah. us to the top of the fourth round. Thyson, you are up with Tobias on deck. All right. Can you guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I can only hope. I'm going to drop the momentary stasis, stasis that was going to fade away at the end of my turn and invoke a new one. All right. It's a save, right? Yep. Ooh. Uh, what, what is that one? Wisdom? Con. 
Con. Not great with con. Uh, 19 plus 3, 22. Alright, that's a success. Um, <coughs> Whatever you're going to do, do it soon. This thing is making my making my scales look bad. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I love you, shut up. I am going to use my eighth level spell. Uh oh. Digging deep now. On reality break. Is there a save for this? Uh wisdom. Oh, well, he's got a great wisdom, and he has advantage. So, yeah, uh, 25. I'm going to make him fail. And that'll burn a sixth legendary resistance. He's got <sighs> one left. I thought that was seven. Nope, that was six. I've got five scratched off. That was number six. Oh, dang. And the resistances go through again, right, after the... No. No, they don't. Sweet. Uh, legendary actions do. But because he had momentary stasis on him, he was unable to do any legendary actions last round. Mm -hmm. Anything cool? Not really. Anything else you want to do, Thyson? Thinking. Hold. No. 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 Um... No, I'm good. Okay. At the end of your turn, he will use five of his seven legendary actions. I need a charisma save, and he will use constraint on you, Thyssen. I need a charisma save with disadvantage. With disadvantage? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's a ten. You are banished. Shit. Whoop! You're no longer on the back of Fortuna. You're floating out in the astral sea. Oops. I'll finish. I'll finish his legendary action. But of course, now he is concentrating on that. Should be good thing you don't have that curse anymore, or else after a minute you'd be trapped with uh, Despater. Um, True. Uh, the gate is based on concentration. Um, do you have to be on the same plane of existence for the gate to function? Uh, yeah, so it's gone. It's gone. Oh, wait, actually, wait, 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 hold on. Double check that. Just, just double yeah. check. Okay, let's change your number. That will finish Dyson's turn. Tobias, you are up with Shulaman on deck. Okay, I'm going to keep attacking the orbs. I'm going to attack the blue one on my first attack. Okay. Does the portal last for the duration? But so it does last for the duration. 31? Okay. Yeah. 31 will hit. Go ahead and roll the edge. Okay. Sixty-one hit points of damage. Ooh, it shatters. Okay, it comes apart as the blue one is destroyed. There are now only four orbs. Okay, I'm going to attack my next attack. I'm going to attack uh, the gold one. Okay. Go no, I'm it. not going to attack the gold. I'm going to attack the green one. Okay. Because this is still my good attacks here. Oh, a nat twenty. Nice. They'll automatically um, hit. Go ahead, roll damage. All right. And it's critical. Which one are you going after? The green one? The green one, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be... Wow, that really sucks. Uh, 18 points of damage. Okay. It still took the damage. It's looking yeah. a little rough, but it's still formed. Okay, I'm going to attack it again. Uh, 
34. That'll I'm hit. I'm going to do... Uh, so 15 more points of damage. 15 more points. It's definitely more damaged, but still coursing with the energy of its form. Okay, I'm going to attack with my second pistol. My uh, bonus action pistol. Where did she go? Okay. There. Um... Uh, is the 21 hit? Uh, 21 misses. You watch as the bullet okay. bounces off the shield. Okay. No disadvantage. It's definitely going to miss. And um, a 26? Uh, 26 will hit. Okay. 26 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, 20 points of damage. Uh, and you watch as the green one shatters. Okay. So the green, red, purple, and blue are now shattered, leaving the pink, gold, and orange. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do an action surge. Uh-oh. To get another attack in. Go for it. Okay. Well, another three attacks. I'm going to shoot the gold one this time. If I, if okay. I hit it. Uh, does a 23 hit? 23 misses. You watch okay. it ricochets off the shield. Okay. Like a 32. Okay, that'll hit. That'll hit. Um... And it'll do sixteen points of damage to the gold one. And you watch as the gold one shatters, right. comes apart. There are two left. And the, do the third attempt. The what pink one it? and the the, or the pink and orange. Orange, pink and orange. Oh, well, he's happy. I'll do... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Was that, that was two attacks, right? Or my No, it was three attacks. Okay. Yeah, that was it. your action surge, yeah. Okay, that was it. There's my action surge. Okay. You still have your move. You're alongside Asborn and his Echo Knight. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me see what it takes to... Um, if it takes an action to do my Boots of Speed... Gluttony and Wrath are the I ones use, that are left. Did my bone, bone Devil action. do anything? Okay, never mind. Say that again? Did the Bone Did Devil do one? anything? It hit him once, okay. <laughs> I'm going to move over to be in base with the demons. The one on the ground? Yeah. What's your move? Uh, 35. Put you right within about 15 feet of it. Okay, fine. Uh, finish your turn. Shulaman is up, but we'll start with the demons. Um, the demon is going to bite the earth elemental, for starters. Uh, that is a natural 20. Yup. That is going to be 8, 9, 15, 17 times 2, 30... Uh, 17, 17, 34, plus 5, 39 points of piercing damage on the Earth Elemental. Where did my notes go? Uh, have the Earth Elemental give me a deck save as he's going to then use his Fire Breath weapon. Okay, sorry, I was looking for my notes. 32, you said? 39. 39. 39. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, dex. That's a 12. A fail. Oof. Times 4, 24, 25, plus 5, 30 points of fire damage. And remember that piercing damage is halved. So it's not 39. Yeah, it's half because he's resistant. So let's have a 39. <laughs> 19. 
Thank you. <laughs> so he'll take the full fire damage. Which is 29 points. Of fire okay. Damage. Thank you. All right. So I'll finish that one. Um, the other demon is going to take all five of its attacks now on... Ooh. Should it take the reaction and go deal with No, it's a gauge of fortune. It's gonna stay. So, ooh, that's a natural twenty for its bite. Miss for its claw. Hit for its claw. Uh, hit for its claw. Hit for its claw. She is going to take eighty-one points of damage. Um, hello. She's, res she's resistant to fire. So he was still going to use his fire breath. She gets disadvantage. She'll still fail. She'll take half of 28, so 14 points. And we'll finish that. Shulamon's turn. Um, there are two orbs left. Wait, uh, one second. I need to. Apparently, we're having an evacuation show right now. Are you serious? I'm yeah. not even what? joking. My. My roommate just knocked on my door and he's like, Alex, we have an evacuation, Joe. You need to come just to the basketball court. Just close the door. And... <laughs> no, I, apparently door. I need to sign something. They're making me sign something. That's there fine. Just throw up your... Um, if you're there. Uh, throw up your camera save and leave everything okay. as is. Be sure you lock your door. Yes, okay. I'll be right back. I'll, roughly 15 minutes. All right. Because I need to walk there, sign something, and then run back. All right. I didn't know this was happening. My bad, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell him thanks a lot. <laughs> so, um, I thought it was a new spell. As an evacuation drill, does it mean that Shulman has to leave our plane? <laughs> so, Mara, I need you to make a. Um, he's going to use wrath on you. Mm -hmm. So, I need you to make a strength save, please. Okay, not great at that. 16? Uh, 16 will fail. Yeah. Um, are you... Are you over half your hit points? Yeah. Okay, so you immediately take 125 points of force damage. Ouch. Otherwise, you would have died instantly. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm not dead. <laughs> he will then use a bonus action chaos step. Does the bone demon get an attack of opportunity? Nope. I assume I don't either. Nope. We suck! Misty step. And he's right above me. Let's see, he is still concentrating on keeping Thyssen out of the fight. <clears throat> that. All right. Um, both demons went. He used Wrath. Bonus action, Chaos Step. Um, if you could do it, I can try to, I'm going to try divine intervention. Great. Yeah, it's an 83. That did not work. Um, so that will fail. That'll finish Shulamon's turn. Asborn is away for now. Mara, you are up with Fortuna on deck. Cool. Um, which which little balls are left? Uh, the orange, pink, the orange, pink. Orange. There's an orange one and a pink one. Yeah. Which one's the one that just hit me? Uh, the wrath. That was, I believe. Stink of check. pink. Um, that was the pink one. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that one. Okay. So 
Um, he's on the other side. He's on the other. Uh, what are you hitting it with? Oh, he took them with him. Uh, yeah, they're 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 orbiting around him. Oh, they're Jesus. part of his I, defense. I don't. I think I assumed they they stayed and he left. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. No, just kidding. I'm just saying. Uh, Tobias, yeah, um... shoot the pink one. It really hurt. Okay. So I'm by myself except for the bone demon. Cool. Um, how how far down to the ground is it? Uh, from where you are, it's uh, 20 feet down. How far? No. They're flying in the air, right? Correct. Okay. Um, I'm gonna potion? use my action to turn into a bear. <gasps> Your bear kid. And into my bear kid. Is the camera off? No, the camera's on. Um. So now, since I am 12 feet tall, can I make the 20-foot jump without taking too much damage? Yeah, I'll say you could. Uh, just give me a deck save to make sure you don't trip over your big bare feet. Oh, that's a 17? Yeah, you're good. Okay. I like uh, how so I... when we get in these big boss fights, not everything's a 21, se- you know, difficulty. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Go to bed. I'm just bed. jumping down a ledge. Okay. Um... And so then I have, I think, I think I have 40 speed. Yeah, I'll say it's a bonus action for you to drop down. Yeah, so it's an action to turn, bonus action jump. So now I have 40 speed. So I will, I guess, start running at the guy on the ground over there, grappling with the earth elemental guy. I don't know. I'll put you right there by fire in between Tobias and fire. I hate Two of you that watch. Like you fly. <laughs> I'll be right there. Okay, sure that's would be turn. nice to have a cloak of fly right about now. Sure would. Or boots of fly in, or a potion of fly in. You had a four month downtime to do whatever you wanted. <laughs> I mean, I had babies. It's not yeah, but she was also she was also playing with feltish. During that form Fair, of but she could have procured some magical devices during her time. If I thought of that, I would. Okay, <laughs> that's my turn. I'll finish your turn. Fortuna is going to take all, and I pre-rolled, so that is going to be three hits. Her breath weapon does not recharge. That is going to be 26 points of damage to the demon. Uh, Fire, you are up with Samara on deck. Okay. We're going to do the bone demon first. Bone devil. Bone devil can fly. So how far away is Shulamon now? Shulamon is now 95 feet. Mm. All right. Is the red thing that is attacking Fortuna closer? Yeah, he's only about 30 feet. Okay. Well, he's going to fly to that then. Okay. And he's going to... Because his fly speed is 40. Okay. And he's going to attack that. Let's see if I can do this without the baby aggro. Bebe. All right. No baby aggro. Bebe. First claw is a 22. That'll hit. Second claw is better. Um, That's a 26. Okay. And the sting is no, um, is a seventeen. Uh, Does miss. a seventeen hit? Okay, so the two claws hit. First one for eight, the second one for uh, seven. So this that's the bone demon. Very, very rough. And now my spiritual weapon's going to hit him. Go for it. No, my spiritual weapon's not going to hit him. It's 14. That'll miss. Yes. And then I am going to go, ah, there's a big bear in front of me. Um, (laughs) (laughs) 
And I am going to do something mean to Shulamon, I guess. Uh, would Blade Barrier hit Shulamon and the the orbs? Um, no. In order for the orbs to take any possible damage, they have to be specifically targeted. Okay. Then I'm going to target another orb. Um, Guiding Bolt. The, yes. There's two of them. There's orange and pink. I want to Amara twin was my very spells. Specific in her toothy pained yell about the pink one. About the pink one? <laughs> Is the owie. Is the owie? You have a big owie. Okay. okay. You are not helpful. Um, okay. Okay. But what about if I, if I cast Dawn and that's like a 30 foot or 40 foot, 30 foot cylinder that wouldn't hit all of the, the two and, and Shulamite. The orbs okay. have to be specifically targeted. All right. I'm targeting the I orbs know you're, specifically. I know you're dipping, but I'm do already the Dawn that thing. That's the better no. thing to do. <laughs> I got the, I got the last two. I can, you can get rid of them. You got the last two. Yeah, target him because we gotta get we gotta get uh, Dyson back. All right, then I'm going to target him with Don. Okay. Uh, um, Don dishwashing soap or Don yes. liquid? Yes. Don di Don dishwashing soap. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh my God! Come on. <laughs> it's um, it's radiant damage. And Jeez, that was the worst joke known to man. <laughs> well, she I'm thought old. that was it was a really bad dad joke. Really bad yeah. dad joke. What's the uh, um, uh, con? Con? Yeah. The one you're yeah. not very good at. Uh, that is an 18 plus 3 is a 21. And he uh. saves for half. Okay. Go ahead and roll for damage and have it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let me shove a <clears throat> nipple in his mouth and. <laughs> I don't mean Shulamon. <laughs> he takes 20 Shulamon points is, of nipple damage. And... He takes 20 points of pacification damage. Yeah. 20 points of pacification damage. Okay. Now I need He can't 10. attack and he goes to sleep. <gasps> yes! I should cast sleep on him. Oh, wait. I don't have sleep on him. Or sleep. All right. Ten-sided dice. Ten-sided dice. I'm like, which ones are the ten-sided dice? Oh, yeah. They're the percentile dice. <laughs> Barry, you and your dad jokes. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, okay, okay. That's 22 and 7 is 27 or 29. And then okay. is there a plus? Hold on. Is there a plus? No, there's not a plus. And it's radiant damage. So that's. Um... But he's saved, so he'll take half. So that's 14. Um, and, and his con save. Yep. Fail it. Fail it. Fail uh, it. That is an 8 plus 3, which is 11. <sighs> yeah. Well, it. No, it's, it's higher than a 10, so he saves. Oh, dang. That's why I said, damn it. Um. Okay, and then I am concentrating... <laughs> And I'm concentrating, and Dawn lasts for a minute, so okay. it's a concentration spell. He's got to move again, damn it. I don't want him to move, because then I have to move the spell. I understand. I would like him to move. I would like him <laughs> to not be near me. All right, I'm trying to get there, but he had to, like... Move Do you want to move it? Do you want to move it all fire? That's all you got left is move. Uh, no. All right. Um, at the end of your turn, he's going to use three uh, legendary actions to uh, cause strife. Yeah, hey, great. T Hawk, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Um, he's going to use strife on you. I need you to uh, make a con save. Baba. Baba. A baba? So no, many bad, ba bad. Ba I think he said bad, bad. You said ba con? Ba con save, yes. Uh, 
Uh, it's 18 plus 8, 26. That's you'll definitely save. Take half of 64 points of necrotic damage. Ow. So half of 64 is 32. 32. Okay. Yep. I need you to roll a... My concentration check. Yep, 16 or higher. Okay. I got uh, 15 plus 8. So 23. You're still concentrating on the Dawn effect. Oh my yeah, Elhawk, uh, we are um, wrapping up a two and a half year campaign tonight. This is a level 19 encounter as uh, we're, well, we're big boss battle for sure. So I'll finish Fire's turn. Samara, you're up, and then we'll be at the top of the fifth round. Okay. Um, well, my Earth Elemental is going to body slam again. Um, yep. So that is uh, 16. Uh, 16? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fail, fail, fail. Fail, fail, fail. Uh, that is a 19. Ah, boo. Okay, so it so breaks second. the grapple effect. So your next attack is a normal slam attack at this point. Okay. So a normal slam attack. Oh, that's not good. I'll give you three guesses. Uh, it's technically a nine. <laughs> a it was indeed a one. After the demon breaks out of the the grapple, the earth elemental tries to slam down on him again, and he rolls out of the way. Both, not only getting out of the grapple, but that second attack will miss as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, how high up am I off the ground? You are 20 feet off the ground. If I were to change into an elephant and fall on top of him, would that... <laughs> He'll get an attack of opportunity on you, but you can certainly give it a try. Who would get an attack of opportunity? The demon that you're trying to fall on top of. Why would you're he... technically moving, like, you're not specifically moving into base with him. You're trying to just land on him. So you're technically moving by him is what you're kind of doing. So he's going to just... lash out at you if you try to land on top of him. It's just hard to do anything at the where I am. Um I tech, okay, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> elephant? An elephant? Yeah. Elephant. Not a, not a giant ape, an elephant, huh? Where's my oh there he is. Would this count as like a stomp attack if I'm on top of him? During your action it would be, but you're basically just landing on him with all your weight. Yeah. Um well, you know what? I'm either going to give him a deck save or a reaction attack. I'm going to give him a deck save to try to avoid the damage. Okay. Um, and that will fail miserably. So you are prone on top of the demon. Go ahead and roll. Jesus Christ, this is a menagerie of fuckery. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll um, 66 um, damage. Okay. I don't know why you would expect anything less of us. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you guys haven't been super creative the last couple sessions, but you're super creative tonight. That's for sure. Okay. Let's see. And math. Oh, there's not very many good ones. Okay. So that's 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, 17 points of bludgeoning. Okay. Well, every little bit helps. And, and you're currently amongst the menagerie on the ground. Since I didn't use my movement, can I use it to stand up? Yeah, half your movement to stand up, absolutely. And then I guess I'll just wait there for my next turn, because I think that counts as my action, right? To fall on top of him? Oh, my action yeah. will be turning into an elephant, so. Correct. Yeah, so I guess that is it for now. Okay. Um, top of the fifth round. This is when the lair action comes into effect during the fifth round. Here it is. <laughs> the structure that Shulman's form has created is now crumbling around. 
the veil is fracturing and creating a gravitational effect. So the gravitational effect will start happening during um, right after um, uh, Asborn's turn, if we ever get her back. Um, so far, she has not come back yet. So uh, you're noticing now the this this thing that he's built is beginning to crumble in on itself. So that will start at the top of the fifth round. Uh, Thyssen, um, you're still banished, aren't you? Tobias, yes. you are up with Shulamon on deck. And you're muted. Okay. I'm still going to go ahead and concentrate on those orbs. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and move in base with those demons. Okay. You're now in base. The demon that's currently prone on the ground. Yeah. I tell him, you should just jump through your porthole and go, the uh, portal right smart, there and go your home. Your earth elemental stuff is moved. Do you want him to stand up as well? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Okay. So that's a portal to your home if you just want to leave. <laughs> okay. Are you casting a suggestion? <laughs> no, just telling him. Say, yo, so yo, 30... your door's right there, buddy. So I'm going to shoot the uh, pink one. Okay. That's going to be a 31 to hit. That'll hit. And I'll do my damage. Another two, there they are, okay. Uh, the silent math treatment. <laughs> So I'm the pink one does, gets uh, 52 points of damage to the pink one. That one ruptures and explodes. Okay. There's only the orange one left. And I'll get the orange one. So 32 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 20 points of damage to the orange one. And I'll shoot it. it takes the damage. It's fractured. It looks like the power and form of it still is functional. And a nat 20. <laughs> on that. Mother effer. So it'll be... Uh, 20, 20 points of damage again on it. Uh, it's barely holding together. And then I'll take my next shot, uh, my bonus action weapon. Okay. That's going to be uh, 24 miss or hit. Uh, 24 will miss. Ricochets okay. off the shield around Shulaman. All right. I think that'll be another miss. Let's see. Uh, 25. 25 will just barely hit. Go ahead and roll okay. damage. All right. Welcome back, Asborn. Technically, I'm still supposed to be out there, but <laughs> I signed the form and I told them I'm not, I can't stay here. <laughs> and I came back. My team uh, needs me. I have to go. <laughs> the alarms might go off. Might. That's what mute is for. It's fine. And that'll be yep. uh, 18 points of damage. Uh, you watch as the final orb shatters. Okay. And as the last of the orbs fade, 
and the energy pulsing around the avatar of Shilamon, you watch as the avatar gets a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. And now the avatar is currently wrapped in a blackened chain around its form. That just appears? Just appears after the orb is destroyed. Okay. All right. I'm good. All right. With that, it is Shulamon's turn with Asborn on deck. Um, it's also the lair action. Um, I need everybody to make strength saves, please. Including Fortuna. Where's my dice? 24. Okay. I should be good at this, right? 21. <laughs> Barely it's passes. This is about the best I could pass. Oh, no, 22. 22. Okay. And 18. 15 for me, but my Earth Elemental got a something. Hold on. Uh, 19 for the Earth Elemental. That's about to say my save, and I remembered I'm still banished. <laughs> You're still banished. <laughs> Does the Bone Demon have to do one? Yes. They're flying. Is it? Yes. Uh, okay. Just do it. <laughs> if it's a 21 uh, both of us fail so starting from the bottom Samara what'd you get I got a 15 okay but my earth elemental got a 19 okay uh, both of you will fail Great. Uh, currently you can only move a quarter of your speed and all melee attacks have um, disadvantage Oh, so if wait. anyone rolled a, a 21 or higher, you saved. If you rolled a 20 or less, you failed. And if you fail, your movement mm. is halved and you and your attack is um, with disadvantage. Hold on. The bone demon has, or devil, has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Go for it. Oh, he had a natty 20. So he will save. So he's fine. But I still failed. Okay. So make sure you make note of that. Um, and that was half our movement and... Uh, Disadvantage on attacks. Um, melee attacks. Not ranged, but melee attacks. And not spell, just melee attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. What is he going to do next? That was the lair effect. So we'll do the devil attacks on Fortuna first. The bite. will miss. Claw will miss. Claw will miss. She needs to make a save. She makes her save. She'll take half of the 23 points of fire damage, which is 11. Um, the other demon will get up. And we'll take uh, Bite, Claw, Claw, and Fire Breath on Samara. Does Samara get an attack of opportunity when it stands up? No, because it's not moving away from her. How dare she? I mean, it. So, Samara, the Bite attack is a 21. Claw is a dirty 20. Second Claw is a 23. Then give me a deck save for for, uh, for the fire breath. Okay, so all of the attacks hit. The decks I got <laughs> zero. <laughs> so for fire damage, zero. you will take 10, 18, 21, plus 5, uh, 26 points of fire damage. Okay. And then you'll take a combined total of 28 points of slashing and 14 points of piercing. Okay. Yuck. Fantastic. Um, now it's Shulamon's turn. Yeah, you know what, Tobias? You pissed him off. Um, you watch as the chain uncoils from around him. It strikes down at you and begins to coil around you automatically. I need you to make a strength save, please. A nine. That'll fail. 
You'll take um, 64 points of force damage, and you are currently restrained. So I'm not immune to that? Nope, you are not. Why do I even have this fucking shit with immunity? It doesn't work. Well, it works okay. against everything that's not divine. As soon as this divinity has gone, it'll work great. 64. <laughs> does, um, does his evasion work on having that again? No, it's strength. Oh, strength, not it's dex. Got, got it. Yeah, it's got to be dex-based. I mean, he said two and a half years to figure out how to fuck us, so... <laughs> <laughs> He's got us, got us down pat, people. All right, so All that right. was his action to invoke Chaos's chain. Um, the orbs are gone, however. Fuck your shit up right to now. bonus action. You know what? It's going to try bonus action compel on Mara. Mara, give me a wisdom save, please. And I'm not good at those. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're figuring it out finally. I rolled a natural one. So you are compelled uh, during the beginning of your next turn. You must immediately attack the nearest mm -hmm. uh, target to you, which mm -hmm. is going to be fire. Mm -hmm. um, and you will have advantage on all your attacks. I already do, so that's great. So you are Double only advantage. compelled until the end of your turn because it's a duration effect because awesome. he's currently concentrating on Thyssen. Okay, well, you got some claws and bites coming at you. <laughs> That'll finish Shulamon's turn. Asborn. Ow. You are up with Mara on deck. Did we burn his last LR? He still has one gone. left. Okay. I am going to use... Um... You're pretty far from him. Check your ranges. How far am I exactly? You're about 90 feet away. How far can I move? Oh, half speed, right? Half speed if you failed your strength. Okay, I will like to move 15 feet closer. Okay, as you are barely able to pick up your feet, as you move 15 feet closer, you're now 75 feet away. Okay, 75 feet, what can I do? Can I use... Mm, mm, wisdom, wisdom, <laughs> wisdom, intelligence. Oh! I think you've been trying to use intelligence for a while now there, buddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to use 4K. No. no. Okay. I, I like the idea, Thyssen, but how am I going to hit him from here? <laughs> that That is wonderful deduction. Okay, you know what? I'm going to grab my Echo Knight and I'm going to uh, Dimension Door right on top of him. As your action? Yes. Okay, oh! remember he's got Dawn on him. What does Dawn... Oh, I was gone for that. What does Dawn do? Uh, Dawn um, is Radiant Damage. And it's radiant not, not uh, player specific. Oh, it just does the AOE radiant It's like a beam of light coming down, hitting him. Yes. It's a cylinder of light that he's currently in, which reminds me, he has to make a con save for that, correct? Oh, oh, no. okay. Uh, that will actually fail this time. Go ahead and roll damage fire for his <laughs> radiant damage. He'll take on that. 10. Okay. Uh, 10, 18, uh, 25, 32. That's a 16 or higher to maintain concentration. Fail. That is a 13 plus 3. 16. Again. Holy shit. I don't need to do. I rolled a 12 and a 13 on that one. Um, Dyson, if you try to use Dimension Door, he's going to use a reaction to counterspell it. Can I counterspell the counterspell? As a reaction? Yeah. Uh, what level? Ooh, dang. Is it god level? Then you fail. <laughs> Is it ninth level? No, then no. Well, I will use you... it. Okay. It's Dyson. We need Dyson back. I, I'll use, I'll use my only seventh level spell. Uh, you you counterspell is counterspell. 
you dimension door up into Shulaman. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, uh, hug me. And then hug me, Shulaman. Is you're Vice still hasted, right? Yes. So that was Dimension Dory, that was Counter Spell, which is my reaction. So I still have action. I technically have action surge again. And then Okay. And then I am going to use Is Dyson still banished? He shouldn't be because mm -hmm. he lost concentration. Yes. No, he's still banished. He 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 rolled a thirteen plus three. He was able to maintain concentration. Okay, so I need to smack him. Smack him real good. Smack him. Smack, Smack him, him real good. Right on the noggin. <laughs> real good. Wait, my wild mother Kick him in is, the uh, balls. Ma Kick him in the balls. What? My wild mother's maw is deactivated. No. All no, our, all our stuff works. Yes! Oh, wait, I'm changing my plans. Fuck bison. <laughs> Kick him in the balls! Kick him in the balls! I'm kicking him in the balls! The balls. Beyond the veil, I tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I use my I use my bonus you're, action. You're to busy use... sipping tea with Schrodinger's cats. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, right. I use my bonus action or to is resummon my Echo Knight right next to me. Okay. Okay. Wait. How many extra attacks do I have? I forgot. Well, you're hasted. I am. So it's double whatever you normally have. That is the question. I have extra. And it also gives okay. you more to the AC, and it gives you more to other things, right? Yes. Right. Right. Um. Right. Oh, but I have disadvantage right now. Ball. You do. I do have disadvantage. But if you have advantage on anything, it would be a regular, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I need to find that advantage hidden in my character sheet, because usually I rely on a whole person, but Shulaman is Shulaman. Mm -hmm. That's been very hard to do. You know what? I need. No, I just need to get Bison back. I am going to attack him four times. I'm going to action surge. Go for it. And then I'm going to unleash un incarnation. So that's going to be eight attacks with all with disadvantage. All right. Okay. Let's see. Do them one at a time because these concentration three, checks are going to be individual. Okay. First one is an eighteen. That'll miss. Okay. Bounces off the shield. That's a natural one. <laughs> that one will miss as well. So that's two. That's a 14. Pff, rebound. Why are you using that not using real dice? I don't have enough oh, dice do, do, to do, do, do. Eight, okay. eight rolls. All with this. Yeah, he's only got two sets. What What was I at? That was three. Okay, four. 18. That'll miss as oh. well. Just kick it through that shield, that barrier that's around him. Okay, you can you you, you can roll your single oh. dice twice. Uh, twenty two will miss as well. The oh. barrier. Twenty three, twenty three. That'll miss. Oh, dang. Okay, and then roll oh, that. real dice. Roll real dice. Okay. Watch him roll a natural twenty. I'm fucking laugh my ass. That's an eighteen. <laughs> That's a Is seventeen. That Is that no plus? plus twelve. Uh, twenty nine. That one will hit. Okay, and then roll for your damage. I'm I'm just using this. Fifteen damage. Fifteen damage. So ten or greater. Wait, wait. Oh. What was I on now? Whoa. Fourteen plus three. You're on seven. That was seven. Okay. Yeah. So your eighth one is coming up. Okay. He still is maintaining concentration. Thirteen. 11, 23. Uh, 23 will miss as well. You guys can just see her up there slamming, trying to get through the barrier that's currently around Shulamon's form. Okay. So that's... That ends my turn. That's literally everything. I used everything. Okay. 
the end of your turn, uh, he's going to use uh, five legendary action to um, do force of will on you. She can only do once per long rest. Um, give me a um, deck save, please. A deck save? Yes. Does this would shield ma uh, master matter here? I don't know. You tell me. Um, I think so. Eighteen plus ten, twenty-eight. Okay. He and flicks his hand at you in an attempt to push you off the ledge and away. Um, it because you dig your shield in, it prevents you from moving back, and you take half of twenty-nine points of force damage. Which is reduced to zero because of Shield Master. Correct. Nice. Okay. That will finish his legendary action. Um, I'll finish your turn. Uh, Mara, you are up, and then Fortuna's on deck. I'm attacking a kitty cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You are compelled. Sorry. All right. Shitty roll. Shitty roll. How close is fire to me? Uh, fire is about 20 feet to your left. Yeah, never mind. That is going to be a 27. <laughs> that hit? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> You're muted, fire. Barely, barely hits. Yeah. yeah. Eighteen points of damage on the first hit. <sighs> oh, that's shitty. That's really bad. Um that was a two and a three. So that's a uh fif six fifteen? Fifteen. Nope. That doesn't hit. Okay. All right. Then a bite. Barely misses. Oh shit. I had two not extra turn attacks. me into a werewolf. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think that's how that works. Uh, tw uh, twenty-two. That hits. Okay. <coughs> Is this a charm that stays on her? No, it, it it's a compel. It'll go away at the end of her turn. Uh, twelve okay. more damage. And I smack you in the face. And you <laughs> knock out of it. You're no longer compelled. That'll end I your turn. growl at you and then kind of chuff a little because I'm confused and concerned. <laughs> I said, don't hit me! <laughs> you bit me! You bit me! I can't believe Why? you bit me! I Do better I get... not get rabies. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get movement or anything? Or am I, I'm done. I'm done, nope, done. That's the end of your turn. Uh, Fortuna is next. I Wait, can I wreck on something real quickly? Um, I forgot to use two extra attacks. Uh, go for it. I right, still with disadvantage. Twelve. Yep. Uh, nine. That one misses. Yeah. Two. That one misses. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying Fortuna to get Bison back. Has managed to destroy the demon. She is going to turn and her breath weapon to recharge. She's going to use her acid stream down on the other demon. He needs to make a deck save. That will fail. Ooh. That is 68 points of acid damage. That demon on the ground starting to look very rough. I'll finish her turn. Um, Fire, you're up with Samara on deck. Okay. Uh, we'll do Bone Demon first. Uh, wait, I need two concentration saves from you, please. Oh, right. Ten or higher. Uh, 25. Okay. No, sorry. Not 25. Uh... That's not a 15. That's a 16. Plus 8 is 24. Okay. Still higher than 10. And You're good either way. And yes, I'm good. Okay. So concentrating on the Dawn effect. 
So start with the Bone Demon. Who's currently start with the Bone Demon. Over by where Fortuna is. Um, is he more than forty feet away? Oh, hey, Asborn. Got to evacuate. <laughs> Got to evacuate. Um, no, that's probably the all clear. More than forty feet away from that demon. The other demon. The bad you demon. You want to do what? Is he more than 40 feet away from the bad demon? Can he fly um, diagonally? He is, exactly, he is exactly 40 feet away. Cool. Then he can get there. Fly 40 feet. And he's going to chompy chompy. Go for it. Uh, first one, actually, claw. Ooh, natty 20. So 28. And another natty 20. What? I got two natty twenties in a row. Oh. Okay. Someone has to combat my rolls. <laughs> and oh man, the sting again. The sting. Seventeen. Does a seventeen hit? Seventeen just barely hits. Oh. <gasps> audio is off. That means. I was gonna say uh -huh. someone sounds really staticky. Yep, that'd be Asborn. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. The um the two claws. It's double the damage. Natty twenty. Yeah. 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 Double the dice. Double, so double the dice, dice is fourteen plus four is eighteen. Okay. Second one, oh man, is eight. I rolled it two. Okay. Um, and then the sting is two D four or two D two D eight. Which DC the poison? Um, it's a con, a uh, constitution 14. Okay. Uh, that is a six plus four is a dirty 10. So he's poisoned. He's poisoned and he will take poison damage. And it's 5d6 poison damage. Thanks. How many d6 do I have out? I have four d6 out. So there's my fifth. So here is the, to hit seven and three. 10, 14 for the hit, and then 5, 11, 15, 20 poison damage. He is looking very rough. That was a lot of damage that turn. Yay! Something That's your turn. finally. That's my turn. Yeah. Um, spiritual weapon can move 20 feet. Is it 20 or is it 30? It's is it 20. 20? It's 20. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I believe you. Which essentially would bring it down to ground level. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm gonna gonna guiding bolt. Um what level? Gonna guiding bolt the mother, the mofo. We'll do sixth level guiding bolt. Okay. So twenty-seven. Uh, oh, on Shulamon, by the way. Yes, that'll definitely hit. And nine d six. Oof. Two, four, five. Dyson might be coming back. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I am counting all these dice. Eight and six is fourteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. 28, 32, 33, 36. So 18 or higher to maintain concentration. And he has a plus three. That is a natural one and a 14, which is a 17. Thyssen is back. Yes! Welcome back! Yay! That was far too long. 
It's very see... hard to hit him. Your eyes. Uh, like, did you have, see your life flash before your eyes? How many rounds has it been? Uh, almost like three. Four. It'll be three rounds because you're at the top of the order. So when it's back up to you, yeah, it'll be three rounds. That you That's gone. my turn. All right, Samara, you're up, and then we'll be at the top of the sixth round. Okay, two hits from my Earth guy. Okay. That will not hit, I don't think. Let me see. Uh, he wasn't as high as the, the other one. 13. 13 will miss. He was higher than that, though. Who? The bone the devil. Demon. Or the, the, the demon. Yeah, the red guy. Uh, that's a natty 20. Oh, that'll definitely hit. Roll twice to die, then add your mods. Okay. One, two, three, four. Come on, high numbers. Uh, not high numbers. Okay, so that's 10, 12, and 5 is 17. He had 16 hit points left. Amazing. Okay. That demon is shredded out of existence as well. Because Once he's demon. done that... How far does that pull? Hang on. Because I can now cast while in wild shape. And Oh, that's right. 30 feet. How high up is he? Um, he's about 30 feet from me right now. So 30 feet up from the ground? Yep. I want a grasping vine and yank him down to the ground because I'm trying to drag him over to that portal. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, he gets a, what is that, deck save? Uh, that is a deck save, yes. Okay. That is an 8 plus 5 is a 13. He failed. Deck 15. down. Um, Asborn, give me attack of opportunity, please. Oh, I get two? Just one. Well, Just your one? Echo Knight gets one too, right? Yes. And then... Attack of opportunity doesn't get extra attack, does it? No. No, no just okay. one attack. Boy, is that one dice? It fell off the table. Now I have to find another. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, look who's talking 25 minutes to add six and six. Uh, 25? <laughs> you just gotta have real dice. Oh. You can't use that fake I'm one. using real dice. That's why I have to look for it. <laughs> Do I, I still have don't. I feel you. <laughs> Do I still have disadvantage from the layer effect? Yes, you do. Okay, so 13... 14, so 13 plus 25 for one. Uh, that'll just hit, yeah. Okay, and then have to roll damage. 13 damage. And then... That's a 7. Okay, and a 14. That misses. Uh, still maintaining concentration. Or, no, that's a strength check for him. Hold on. He's still using the chain and restraining um, Tobias at this point. <coughs> and he's now been pulled to the ground, Samara. I believe you have him restrained with vines. Is that how it works? Uh, no, I think. So let me see. Hold on. Let me pull it up or again. Does it does he take damage and you pull him towards you? Okay. It says you conjure a vine. Um, it lashes out at a creature within 30 feet. It says if they fail, it they're pulled 20 feet toward the vine. So I think, let me see, hold on. Until the spell ends, you can direct the vine to lash out of the same creature or another one as a bonus action. So it doesn't take any damage? Well, that's the that's where the DM flavor might need to happen. Because if I'm pulling him and he's 30 feet up, he only gets to 20 feet and then continues. Right, he technically to failed his dex phase. So I'll say he takes, um, I will roll. Uh, Falling damage. 3d6 falling damage, which is 11 points. Okay. Damn. Anything else you want to do? Man, now I have to move Dawn. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's oh, it. By the way, uh, Asborn, I need um, constitution saves from you and your Echo Knight, please. Okay. Because you are in the cylinder. Okay, my Echo Knight just immediately dies. Okay. And then for me, that is a 24. That'll save. You'll take half that, damage. Fire, go ahead and roll. It was, half damage on, for what? Up. It was 
what level was it? It's fifth? Fifth. Yep. 4d10. 4d10. And then half of 4d10. Uh, one, ten, twenty. Oh. So ten points. Okay. Yes, my earth elemental is gone because he was concentration. So as soon as I cast grasping vine, he blipped out. Okay. 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 You are so insistent. What land are we now? We are about 30. to start the sixth round. Okay. Not the seventh round. Or sorry, we're about to start the seventh round. You're seventh, correct. Seventh. Okay, we have three more rounds of haste. So, Samara, anything else you want to do? That's all I got. Okay. I brought him that to the will, ground. Everyone else. Finish your turn. Yeah. Takes us to the top of the seventh round. Thyson, welcome back. You are up with Tobias on deck. Red motherfucker. <laughs> For some reason, there's a tiefling cussing on the back of Fortuna. I'm going to cast Dominate Person at fifth level. Make him jump straight into the hole. Is that a charm effect? Um... Yeah. He is immune to charm. Oh. And I was told about that, so take that back. You were told about that. Yeah. Retcon, retcon, retcon. Retcon, 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 retcon. We love retcon eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's retina X. We're going to do mental prison instead, then. Uh, is that a wisdom? Uh, that is... Intelligence. intelligence. Which one is it? Intelligence. Intelligence. Ooh, that is not good. He is going to burn a chaos point. And hey, hey, that. What's a chaos point? What's a chaos point? <laughs> that you need to see your character 15... sheet. Oh, sorry, that I can't read that. Sixteen plus six is a twenty-two. Okay, yeah, that that succeeds. Um, okay. I'm going to use another momentary stasis. I'm running out of those, but I still got them. Okay. And that's wisdom? Uh, no, that's constitution. Constitution, that's right. He's not good at those. Ah! That's an 18 plus 3, 21. All right, you barely succeed on that one. Hey, man, he's um, staring at that gate right now, and the avatar is not happy. Hey. The orbs are gone. The chain of chaos has got Tobias restrained and will do more damage if Tobias can't break out of it. But it recognizes what you're trying to do. And it knows it's it's getting weaker. It's definitely gotten weakened. Uh, uh, I'm just going to keep pumping into that one minute spell. All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. How many more uh, turns you need for that? Don't forget you're hasted, so each time it's two. Yeah, if I get do it like each time two, it's like two more. Well, and you, it still would have counted while you were in the Astral Sea. Oh, so then two, 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 three. What's the other two, two? Oh, so next round. Next round. Okay, that makes more yeah. sense. Because just because you were in the Astral Sea, the device still would have been with you. So yeah, it is. During like your next round, it'll become active. Yep. Okay. Uh, Tobias, you're up with um, uh, uh, the demons are gone. So, Tobias, you're up with the um, now the lair actually goes after Asborn, but the lair only has the one effect, which it already did. So, Tobias, you're up with Shulaman on deck. Okay, uh, so what do I have to do to break free this chain? Uh, you need to use your action to make a strength check. Okay. Sorry, strength save. My bad. Strength save. All right. I'm probably going to fail it. Um, I got a 14. 14 will fail. You're still restrained. You still have your bonus action left. Well, I can't attack or anything, right? 
Well, you could, I mean, you're restrained. I mean, you can point, you can't move, and you'll have a you'll have disadvantage on your attack when you try to shoot with your bonus action. Um, if you have to decide what if that's what you do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and bonus action and and uh, activate my boots of haste. All right, so you are now hasted. Good lord, everybody's hasted. We love haste. So bonus action hasted, so you get another action. Um, go ahead and make another strength save with your action. Well, I know I it's not my boots of haste. There's boots of speed. They don't give me an extra attack or nothing. It's just a boots of speed. Oh well, that's different than hasted. Yeah, sorry. So here, okay. I'm. I just I activate my boots of speed, and that's the end okay. of my turn. So, All right, finish your how turn. much damage I take? Uh, so during, sh so at the end of your turn, uh, take fifty-eight points of force damage. Sheesh! This rat is being pummeled. Oh damn! Alrighty, Shulaman is going to oof he's running out of things to do um he is going to use his chaos gaze on you Tobias no Samara you're a bigger target um chaos gaze on you Samara I need you to make a constitution save, please. <laughs> the nod. You failed. That was an eight. Um, are you below half hit points yet? I mean, as an elephant, yes. Okay. So the elephant immediately dies, and then Samara takes 100 points of necrotic damage. Ow. Chaos gaze. <sighs> All right. Um, he can't move. He can't chaos step because he's got Tobias restrained. He'd have to let Tobias go. Yeah, let me go. To do that. And he <laughs> yeah. really doesn't want to fucking do that. Not with them pistoleros. Um, uh, is he still? I mean, he only fell. And the the oh. dawn is thirty foot, uh, thirty feet. Would he still be in oh, the he, dawn? He'll you'll you'll still get. It. He'll have to save on that because he's going to move out of that for sure. Okay. Um. Um. Have the bone devil make a wisdom save, please. Okay. On. Uh, wisdom. Gotcha. Okay. Because he is within 20 feet. Uh, 14. 14. He is compelled and must turn Great. and immediately attack um, Mara. So go ahead and resolve your attacks against Mara. And then he is going to... Move. One attack or all of his attacks? He's compelled. So it's full all of his attacks. Okay. The first one is a... Uh, 24? Miss. No, no, not 24. Um, okay, but that, anyways, that misses. Okay, the second one is a 27. Hits. Uh, 27 hit. And the sting is a 10. Miss. That stinger okay, sucks. So I think it hit really shit. does. <laughs> uh, 7 and 4, 11 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> Hey, that's what you get for biting me. I mean, fair enough. Oh my god, child. I if guess... you don't want to be on me, can you at least go in the freaking pen? The penitentiary. He is going to levitate directly up 15 feet. Hey, and that will finish his turn. Oh, he's running out of shit to do. God damn it. This has gone on longer than he wanted. Wait, did you just um, mean he levitated 15 feet? Yeah, he. If he yeah. levitated fifteen feet, he's still in the dawn. He didn't move he out. He is. Of it. So I can't hit him. Wait a minute! Doesn't he get? He don't you that. get opportunity attacks against him? I'm not next not to him. Oh. Approach him. And you're restrained. 
Um, Samara, you can take an opportunity to attack at him as you came back into your form and base with him. Uh, and what's the save for Don again? That's uh, uh, looking up. Uh, yes, con 15. That fails. Okay, go ahead and roll for damage. Nine and seven is 26, 16. or 16. Uh, plus six is 21. Okay. 16 plus six is what? 22. <laughs> All right. And there's no plus, so. Samara, are you taking a swipe at him? And he's not I concentrating mean, anymore, guess, right? But I, don't, I can't cast a spell, so I have to just like whack him with Warcaster, stick, which is not going to do much. Come on, you got to have Warcaster. I don't know. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I he's not, not in base with you. No. Um. Could, am I able to? Mm, that doesn't work. The only thing you do is whack him with your staff. All right, I will whack him with my staff. Okay. Uh, no, that's a 12. <laughs> yeah, your staff bounces off the barrier around him. Uh, that'll finish Shulamon's turn. Asborn, you are up with Mara on deck. How far am I from him right now? You are 35 feet. <laughs> okay. If I were to jump at him, how possible <laughs> would it be to tackle him out of the air? Um, I think Theoretically. I think you would need an acrobatic check, which okay. will have a decently high DC. Mm -hmm. um, and then your action would be to grapple. So your okay. movement would be to leap at him. Mm -hmm. And that would require an acrobatics to get close enough to grapple him. Because I already okay, know you're going to leap. You're going to leap through that, that uh, thing that fire's got on him. Yeah. The, the well, he's starting it. She's starting her turn there anyway. So. She just She's has to have... not end her turn. If oh, she doesn't okay. end her turn, she won't have to take the da the Correct. dawn damage. Oh, okay. Well, I'm but fine with taking ends... the dawn damage. But if she not... ends her turn grappling um, Shulaman, she's still going to take the damage. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do the easier method. I am going to dimension door on top of him. You and then the spell slots for that? I do, from the long rest. All right. So what level are you casting that at? That is a... Where is it? Fourth level. Base dimension door. He is going to cast counterspell at fifth. Ugh. Do I counterspell his counters? No, but then I can't grapple. Oh. Anyone willing to give a counter spell to the cause? I mean, Brother, I'm always here for you. <laughs> I totally I would. Closest with a but... reaction. And anyone with I a know. reaction? I don't have counter spell. I don't have I counter don't spell. Sorry. Senori Thyssen? Brother, I'm always here for you. I just said that. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean you counter spell the counter spell. Yeah, are you going to do it? says, I'm always yeah. here for you. Yeah, counter spell yeah. the counter spell. Uh, okay. At fifth level? Uh, sixth level. Two, oh, six. okay. Uh, you dimension door on top of Shulaman again. Yay! I'm going to grapple him to the floor. Yay! Where did my dice go again? Anyway, oh, okay. Where yeah. is Tobias? Tobias is right under us. Do you see the green cloak? No. Oh, okay. Right, right under Shulamon, yeah. Device. Okay. And he's currently restrained by Shulamon. Right. Oh, the delicate act of floating platforms. And it's, okay. it's Mara that's right next, not Mara, um, um, Samara that's right next to him? Correct. Okay. Okay. 15 plus 15, that is 30. Seventeen plus five is twenty-two. He's grappled. Yay! Do we fall to the floor, or is um, he levitating? No, he's levitating. You are grappling him in the air. 
Okay. Okay. So. But I have him grappled. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? I still have my bonus action. What can I use? Okay, I am going to summon. Can I summon my Echo Knight on him? No, because it would have to be grappling like I am to stay on him, right? Correct. I'll put it right under him. Okay. And then that will end my turn. Uh, end your turn. Um, Mara, you're up with Fortuna on deck. All right, so the only one left is Shulamon, right? Yep, that's all that's left. He is 35 feet in the air. He is 15 feet in the air. 15 feet in the air. So if I am 12 feet tall and I'm standing on that my puts leg. you within five feet of range of him, yes, as long as you're okay. right underneath him. Okay, so I can't bite him, but I can claw him. Yep. Okay, so I'll take two claw swipes. Go for it. Um, I can't use a reaction on my own turn, right? Nope. No. Okay. Wheel. Um, well, that's pretty good. That is a 20, uh, th uh, 30, 30. Yep, that'll hit. <coughs> oh, that's good. That's 13. 17 for the first swipey. Nice. Oh, that's bad. That's not going to hit. That's a 19. Yeah, you feel your claw rebound off the shield barrier. Um, and then I want to like snap at him. I, I know I can't reach, but just like snap it. <laughs> um, okay. Um, is this your first time striking him? As a bear? No, yeah, as a bear, because it would be your physical touch. Yeah, I hit him with my rapier earlier. Uh, give me an intelligence check, please. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, that's a natural 20. Plus. As, oh no, the DC was a 19, so you're oh. good. As your first claw strike hits him, the tendril of energy from the oh, God. necklace around your neck flares. Uh -oh. And you notice that the corrupted um, physical form of Shulaman like reacts to your physical touch. Does and he like it? Or does he not, not like it? It distracts him. It causes him like physical discomfort. Oh, that's good. And you get the feeling there's a connection between that necklace and him. Oh, I want to grapple him. Damn it. <laughs> I should have grappled him. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't do anything else now, though. Um, okay. I will remember that for next time. Okay. Uh, Fortuna is up. Um, Dyson, Fortuna looks up at you and just her dragon uh, telepathic voice. What do I do? Do I stay here? Do you want me to move? Do you want me to attack him? What is What is it? What should I do? Uh, flying close. Try and hold him down. You want me to grapple him then? Yeah. Sure, we can try that. I will do what I can. Um, he will have disadvantage on this one. He will have advantage. Eighteen versus portal is nine. So with that, she is using her claws to keep him contained and has him grappled. While Asborn has him grappled as well. It'll finish her turn. Fire, you are up with Samara on deck. I don't want to injure my friends anymore. Can I move Dawn off of them, but not uh, cast Asborn, you not... finished your turn. Oh, you already took damage from that. Never mind. Yeah. Am I in Dawn now? Uh, no, because yeah. you're in the front no? of it. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so can it touch his back without touching my friends? Uh, it's going to touch Asborn. Because <laughs> Asborn, okay. it's going to definitely hit Fortuna. Well, I'm going to... Uh... All right, bonus action shifted off of him so that it stops hitting my friends, but not yeah. dispel it yet. Okay. Um, and then 
uh, I'm going to. Devil. He was only compelled during that reaction. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shift, uh, move forward. I know I only have half movement, but I'm gonna move uh, to Tobias's back. Uh, 10, 15, okay. And I'm going to cast Freedom of Movement. <laughs> he is no longer restrained. And that's my movement and my action and my bonus action to move Dawn. So um, now the Bone Devil is going to go attack him. Okay. He flies so he can fly up at him. And... His first hit is an 18. That'll miss. His second hit is a, a 22. That'll miss. And his third sting is a natty 20. That'll hey. definitely hit. He is immune to poison, however, but he will still take the stinger damage. So does that mean that he doesn't take the poison damage either? Nope, he's immune to it. That's what immunity Damn. means. Damn. Um, fire, <laughs> oh fire is the damage really good? Uh, it's 5d6. It's 5d6. It's fine. I can take his immunity away. As a reaction? Yeah. Can't you I mean, he'll also be away? poisoned. He'll also be poisoned. Yeah. Okay, so when a creature you can see within 30 feet takes damage from an attacker spell, you can use a reaction to remove the damage, any damage resistances... If I amplify it, the target loses any damage immunities. All right. Holy spell. So I have to damage myself, but I'll do it for the cause. Okay. I just dealt eight points to myself. Does it say where it's damaged oh, by your spell oh. by a spell? Yeah, or a spell. An attack or a spell. Oh, attack or a spell. Cool. So he so is he now took... not immune to poison until the end of Seven his next turn. So if four. anyone else is he not took... poison, throw it at him. 11. He took 11 points from the physical, from the sting. And the poison. Uh, 15, 19, 23. And he's poisoned. Worth it. A little bit what of math does on that. Chaos, Disadvantage chaos on attack rolls and the chaos chain chain. is now gone. And it's just the avatar form shrinks a little bit more. And now mm -hmm. you can all equally see the corrupted and very disfigured Shulaman inside the avatar form. Yucky. And he's not undead. <laughs> he's not undead. Damn. Destroy undead. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. That's literally um, never never worked on anything in this game. I know. Because it's all not undead or... They were all <sighs> construct beings. Constructs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. That will finish Fire's turn. Samara. Use poison. Make so, it worthwhile. I don't have any poison. I hate you. <laughs> Not a poisonous poison. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, are we still I'm sorry? So still I'm sorry. I didn't go... kill you. It's okay. We're trying to get him to go through the portal, correct? Yeah. So right now, Fortuna's claws have dug into the avatar form. You can see Asborn on the avatar form's back with it. She's grappled it. Um, everybody else has moved up underneath it and it's either attacking it. Um, are just supporting what the others are doing. It's, it's well, my chaos in the is, middle. My question uh -huh. is, if I were to grasping vine and pull him, because he's grappled, would it pull the others with him or no? Uh, he would have advanced. Well, there would be some checks. Um, all that I would know with all that weight, especially Fortuna holding him. No, definitely wouldn't work. Okay. Well, I'm gonna heal myself because I'm very low. Okay. Um, I just just hold on the hold one in the push, and I got I got some. Okay, um, then I'm just gonna heal myself because I yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't want to jump into the fray. What's that? You don't want to jump into the fray. 
Uh, not with 40 points left, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll just, I'll give myself 70 points back. And then uh, make sure I actually do that. That feels better. Um, yeah, that's all I can do. I'm, I'm going to hands off and let you guys handle it at this point. Top of the eighth round. Dyson, you're up with Tobias on deck. All right. I'm going to double haste action, uh, complete the imprison spell. Okay. I'm going to convoke that cool rock I have in my hands to use it on him. So, a series of things happens at this point. The first well, thing wait, that wait, happened... Wait, yeah? wait, let me specify something. I yeah. want to imprison the chained oblivion on him, okay. not himself. No, I got that. You're, you're going after the avatar, basically. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I figured. So, with that... All of you watch as the avatar form around Shulaman's corrupted body vaporize. It just blasts outward. This huge force of necrotic energy shreds out due to the imprisonment effect of the crystal. However, I do need everyone to make con saves, please. Great. We're all going to die. Uh, just like simply difference. succeed, people. Uh huh. Great. We're all gonna die. Okay, I'm googling that. That's yucky. Got a thirty. <laughs> nice. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I'm currently resistant to necrotic. I got a twenty-three. Okay. I got a Nat twenty-three as well. Okay. Natural twenty twenty-five. Okay. I got a twenty-three as well. Okay. Three twenty-three. Nice. What's I think the everybody bone, got uh, a twenty or demon. higher, right? Uh, no. Not the bone demon. And not me. The bone Sam. demon got a 12. I know, man. This is not by choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm resisting the I damage right now. Use my like last convergent features to make her succeed. Yeah, that's fine with that. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> so the bone demon is shredded out of existence. Yep. Everybody, because of the imprisonment effect, it was already halved because of that. And because everybody saved. You feel the nauseous kind of wave of necrotic energy move back and away. It's at that point, the only thing you see left floating in the air and then slowly coming to the ground is the physical corrupted remains of Shulaman. Mara, you feel a heat around your neck. The necklace shatters and begins to coalesce into a transparent kind of feminine figure. It walks over to where Shulaman is, picks him up, and in kind of like this weird fetal position, he just smiles up at her, whispers a name that sounds familiar to you, as she slowly walks him towards the gate. Look it around. Oh, wow. This area is beginning to become even more unstable. Where's Qualish? Fortuna immediately launches up into the air with you, Fison. And all of you watch as the figure just passes through the gate. <laughs> and the gate collapses <laughs> behind them. But now the Shadowfell pocket is coming apart. It is. It. We got to get back to the boat. Destroying itself. Everybody jump on Fortuna. Man, the got away boat. in the end. I was gonna give him a cool execution. All right, let's get out of here. He went through the gate. They went through the gate. Yeah. The gate that I made. Yep. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I already know what's He's happening. Like reunited with his love or whatever. Don't it's worry fine. about that. I already know what's going on there. Okay. Uh, okay, we have to book it. Um, Fortuna, help! Get us to our boat! <laughs> she lands. gotta fly! She fly lands, time. you can carry Tobias and fire, but Mars in her bear form. A bear. I polymorph to a dragon. Okay, 
So Smara and Asborn. Up the dragon? It, yeah. So I'll say Mar and Asborn are with Samara, while Fire, Tobias, and Thyssen are with Fortuna. And all of you begin to leap up into the air. The dragon's bank. As I'm, as can, um, Go ahead. I'm looking for Qualish as we're mad dashing. Okay. As you guys are getting out of this area, there's two things you notice. There's yeah. a very small gnomish figure standing on one of the three-story structures of buildings. His hands are up and out. And you can see arcane energy that is currently swirling above him as it seems to be keeping the entrance to this fell gate open. All around you, everything else is collapsing. <laughs> the psychic as... waves are tearing in your direction. You can feel them just get close and then fade. But as this fell pocket collapses around you, it's exposing you to the psychic residents of the Shadow Fell. All of you hear in your heads a familiar Qualish voice. Thank you. Thank you. I will keep and, the and I'm going to ask. Can we get you too? Can we save you? No. Go now. Do not worry about okay. me. You already have saved me. You go now. And you can see he's straining. The opening is shrinking as he's trying to keep it open as the dragons are... <laughs> Wait, how far is he? Wait, our boat... Oh, we gotta go. Boat. Wait, how, wait, boat. how far is college? I can, I can. I'm telling the dragons. No, I'm just, telling just, the dragons. Grab our boat. Grab our boat. Grab our boat. If you grab him, him, him the gate will close. The gate will close if I go. I'm gonna, I'm yeah. just gonna, you know, shot it as for Wait, stopped. is he trying to? <laughs> is he trying to grab Qualish? I kid. Okay. Could no, I? Just, could I do something no. very, very? Very sus. How far is the portal from Qualish, like distance wise, to like um, get out? I, well, he is, his effect that he's using is 300 feet. So he's standing, he had to move up to a third story building to do it. And he's holding the gate open. Wait, he's, about 100, he's 100? 150 feet below you. And he's holding the gate open while telepathically screaming at you to hurry. And you're watching as the psychic resonance of the pocket is collapsing in on itself My ship. and destroying everything. You watch okay. as the ship yep. gets destroyed in the background. Ah! I'm kidding. The ship is floating up too with all your family and friends, you dumbass. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, good. Can, can so I do? The dragons are going up. The ship is going up as well. So, so dimension door requires My a sideline and a specific direction. Up to 500 feet. So, can do I have enough time? To no, Asborn, he said to, leave him. I still am hasted. Uh, do I have Wait. enough time to? No, your ace would have dropped by now. Ace would have uh, dropped by now, but yeah. Okay. So, 12 seconds. Do I have 12 seconds to TP both of us out? I just need the tiniest pocket that I could see through. Like, the most minute and grab you with my claws. <laughs> doesn't yeah, matter. Dimension I have dimension doors, dimension that door. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do I um, have 12 you know seconds? I've got a DC in mind for this from a timing perspective. <laughs> um, for as so all as you gonna die. to go upwards, and the vessel gets through the portal first. Next is Fortuna, and next is the transported Samara. But right at the edge, as the doorway shrinks barely giving you enough time to begin pushing through, Asborn disappears. <laughs> Asborn, give me a good old-fashioned dex check. Oh, let's yes, see if Asborn I makes it. Dex check. I oh, have three the whole party survives or not. I wait, have wait, three wait, It's okay. All right, two luckies. And, and, and inspiration. Inspiration. Do you have an inspiration? Yeah. No, nope, he's in a different plane of existence. You can't do it. No, but do you have any from before that you haven't used? My because party we've inspiration? inspiration. No, DM no. inspiration system. DM inspirations inspiration. that we've gotten. I don't think I've ever used a DM inspiration. So then I guess have I'll use have one. At least have one. one or two before. Well, what's I DM know inspiration? It's usually a D8 a... for me. Okay. Yeah. Where's my D8? I have to look through this tiny bag. <sighs> Yeah, as long as you, you know use real dice. You, you know why I'm doing this? Please use real dice. That man is 
uh, money mine. I need that money for no. my family. <laughs> Let's start. Let's start with rolling the d20. Okay, that's eleven. I'm going to use lucky. Okay. A fourteen. I'm gonna use one more lucky just in case. Nat twenty. It's so <laughs> simple. It's so simple. And I'll just wait, just wait, wait. to do a little more. inspiration. Do the inspiration. Yeah, I'll do the inspiration just in case. That's a two, so natural 20 plus two plus 10, 32. All right, I put the DC at a 25, just from a timing perspective. It's too simple. So there's a moment there where Asborn's not on your back anymore, Samara. And then just as you make it through the gate and the gate is oscillating shut, there's a blur. <laughs> and then you feel Asborn on your back and he's got tucked underneath her arm, Qualish, just as the gate <laughs> slams shut behind all of you. There floating are the dragons, the vessel, and then all around you, you watch <laughs> as the veil normalizes. The rifts oh, begin good. to fade. You guys are outside of the Shadowfell pocket. <coughs> What would you like to do? I'm going to look at Thyson and say, Thyson, where did that gate go to? <laughs> um, the second level of hell. So you sent him to Dispater? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, perfect. Okay. He'll be the roasting his nuts in there for eternity. <laughs> As the world begins to normalize. The darkness and the clouds fade. The rifts close up around you. Qualish is conscious and on the back of Samara as you guys begin to head off in no particular direction. It is the first day of the last day. Eventually, all of you will return to Nicodranas. I'm cuddling with my sister and Tobias. The first few days and weeks are kind of almost quiet celebration. It's not everyone's quite aware <clears throat> of what has happened, but things begin to normalize a little bit more. The sounds and the cascading effect of a population that is no longer threatened by whatever this darkness is affords all of you months of quiet. Of opportunity. And with this in mind, Thyssen, what would your epilogue be? Thyssen would, uh, you know, spend the rest of his time mainly just wandering around, making sure no big rifts to other planes of existence, specifically the second level of hell, open up. And if they do, <laughs> close them up. Ooh, I like you it. Know? That's really cool. So you and Fortuna will forever travel under the guise of, of two wanderers. Rumors of a tiefling and a strange dragonborn on occasion doing battle with errant creatures and gateways that open up periodically until you're lost to legend and your travels. Tobias, what is your epilogue? That's right. I'm in Diablo 4. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, I'll say it. Uh, so <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tobias works course, his. Guys, well, before you announce your epilogue, I need the full uh, title. Oh, let me go back to the beginning here. And you could obviously <laughs> add a new title. Yeah. Okay. Um, Defeater of the Chamber. Layer of Bottles. Yeah, I write that in. <laughs> oh, He's got to find the whole title. Good <laughs> Lord, Tobias. I know, sorry. So, uh, behold, their man, <laughs> his Supreme Majesty Tobias Fairweather. 
king, pirate king of the astral sea, first and last of his kind. Releaser and recapture of Scourge, the undead Hydra. Teller of truths. Stealer of the statue of the sacred heart. Uh, emperor of the aerial thieves. Destroyer of the Black Hand clan. Disruptor of Malar, the beast lord. Green dragon bane. Obtainer of the arcane seal. First pirate of Avernus. Lover of queens. Wonder of hell. <laughs> Deal maker to Zarel. The one who is now too, vanquisher of the chained oblivion. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you hear rumors that the enclave of the pirates is being rebuilt. Uh, word word reaches you from time to time through mouse folk that. There is a new pirate king. What you don't know is he's made a deal with Zarel to live forever. So he can, so he, because he's the bringer of kind of, he's not evil, but he brings a lot of chaos. I just want to clarify. He thinks he made a deal with Zarel to Whatever. live forever. <laughs> so yeah, I will live forever and I will forever be the pirate king running the new island as it was being rebuilt. And with that, chaos on the seas lasts for a while, but it's organized chaos. And the strange thing is that the new banner of Darktoe is a chaotic pirate mouse skull and rumors of a new Plank King. Fire, how about your epilogue? And why is your camera... I... Uh, because the screen is not uh, um, on you. Know. Ah. Yeah, because, you know, the kids... Because your office like, looks like shit and you're worried about people Because seeing. my office looks like shit and I don't want people to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Of course, now your camera's broken. There you go. Nope, now that makes me lag. <laughs> so it's just that's like three fire, seconds. Move on. <laughs> okay, so Fire spends time with her sister and working with Beowulf Tower and Nicodronus and kind of being the emissary between, I mean, the, the under-the-table emissary between her and the new Plank King, Tobias, nice. and, and Nicodronus. And uh, helping Nicodronus become a more profitable place. With that, this joint relationship actually keeps Tobias from other nefarious activities from time to time. Mara, what's the epilogue of the Brecht family? Um, yeah, so I would have had the blood ceremony for the twins. Um, so I, I, I like. Do you want me to roll for what they become? You roll, you can roll two d20s, which will be the last two rolls of the game. All right, of the campaign. Oh. So, uh, Mellow Sky, okay, please do something. Roll awesome. 17. 17. Elk, I choose to make you succeed. What was that? It's an elk. That's elk, elk. <laughs> I give you bardic <laughs> inspiration <laughs> and JLE Kai 15. Werewolf. Oh man. A werewolf, right. one of your kids is a werewolf. And That's one consumes the other. <laughs> to blood. You definitely I told have you a little bit of an edge on one anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, they spend the next several years fighting with each other about who's better. Um so they, they kind of grow up around the, the family compound. Um, fairly early on, they are sort of introduced into the ways of the breakfast. Um, they become much better liars than their mama, who is a terrible liar. Um, and while she has definitely earned her place in the ghost slayers, she does not continue as a spy because she's terrible at it. Um, and rather <laughs> she, um, goes and finds a place as a first mate on a ship and um, allows her family to continue and she'll kind of do 
what she can during her uh, voyages, but she doesn't really continue in the spy game. It's, it's not really her thing. But the two littles will grow up and they'll be spies for her. I need a first mate. She does not first mate for Thomas. Ah, what? Oh. Sorry. The insult. <laughs> so she wants she want she gets a like a reputable, yeah. legitimate, not a pirate, <laughs> and anytime yeah. she gets legitimate. To port, uh. The first night of port, she gets falling down drunk and just tells the best stories that nobody believes. And the Brecht family goes on. The ceremonies continue as the ghost line is established. And once again the Brecht family continues to do what it's always done post period of calamity and divergence which is to protect this world as best as it can through its secret nature but also through its newfound profiteering through a burgeoning relationship between Mara Kai Brecht Industries and Fire Brightcliff Industries which are now proving to be quite profitable as you guys still maintain the estate on the bluffs of the Nicodronus uh, and the Restless Wharf. Asborn, what is the future and epilogue of the Sinclair family? Well, it was going to be very normal until I got my my grubby little hands on Qualish. With Qualish's life in my hands and my control over him, I will have him <laughs> mass produce a fleet of flying ships called the Imperium Fleet. And I will then take to sky pirating to directly combat Tobias. <laughs> no! <Yeah. laughs> the, the new Ooh. empire of the Sinclairs are taken in the skies. Oh, Your puny God. single ship won't be able to stop us. And as the Sinclair He's family, not a single ship. As Tobias Sinclair, hasn't been a single ship for a while. Well, as the Sinclair family and the Dark Toe Syndicate do battle with each other during Tobias's lifespan, both legendary and opportunities kind of about, kind of come out of the this reality. Tobias's great wealth and aspiration towards access towards Brimstone, it is said that the last great air battle between the Sinclairs and the Dark Toe Pirate King are legend to be said and to be remembered. Samara, what is your <laughs> epilogue? So Samara goes back to find her mother and her clan um, and works <laughs> through her connections with the other cities to finally gain independence for the Ivory Heart clan and they establish their own area. Um, with our matriarch, queen, and uh, guiding council to help make decisions. Um, Atil comes to live with Samara, and in their spare time, they strengthen their clan by uh, having fun and uh, tattooing them all. With Samara's influence over the Ivory Heart and the establishment of the autonomous and independent region for the Luxodons to prosper and do well. Also finding a permanent home for orc tribes or anyone nomadic or willing to embrace the idea of the Wild Mother and the idea of what the Ivory Heart stands for becomes a beacon to many different societies and groups. But it is 15 years later. And on this 15th year, this 15th anniversary of the group, all of you gather, save one individual. As Samara leads the procession in the middle of the Ivory Heart Fairgrounds, the great temple at its center is a familiar ship, the ship of the pirate captain Tobias. The great funeral pyre is decked out on this ship and on it swaddled in cloths of oil and abound with all the wealth that a pirate can consume and aggregate over years of plunder and fighting both the Sinclair family and others. Some see this as an opportunity of some peaceful existence on the seas 
and in the air. But this group knows better. Even in the afterlife, Tobias will make Shulaman's life difficult if that's where he ends up. Who knows? But Samara leads fire, Mara, the twins, Sinclair and your entire retinue, Thyssen and Fortuna in her dragonborn form. Already rumor of potential strife between the Maro and Zorhashians is beginning to burble to the surface. But for now, as a team, as a familiar group, you are laying a compatriot to rest. As it turns out, he was not blessed with forever life. <laughs> Once again, Tobias just thought he was. He lived in death as large as he lived in life. And you see a familiar individual kind of oh, cranky. Is it Bright Queen? Oh, and, man. Well, you see two familiar individuals. No, I think about it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you guys remember the mouth folk, Captain, but a very oh, aged, yeah. old, barely able to walk mouse folk captain. How the hell did he live longer than Tobias? Fire. And to arrive last in the procession it's is the Queen. Queen. But she is in her disguise. As she is not one to travel outside her borders at this point. But the team, together for one last time, saying farewell oh, yeah. to Tobias. Celebration goes into the night. And that's where we're going to finish, folks. That's it. We did it. Two and a half years. Gosh. Wrapped up in one three and a half hour session. Oh, Holy sadness. Crap. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I sadness. Was him. Fuck Tobias. No, I mean, there's gonna, it's going to be like a Dread Pirate Roberts thing. There's. <laughs> I passed it on to another mouse folk captain. One of my twins turns out on the great nice. high seas, <laughs> <laughs> the Lucidian Sea. Well, everybody, thanks for coming out for this final telling. Um, this will end up being a two-parter for the podcast. Um, it'll probably eventually make it up to YouTube, but you can watch it in the Twitch library. Uh, but yeah, this is our last one. We will not be doing Denizens and their masters anymore, unfortunately. I am 50-50 as to whether or not I'm going to do a pay-to-play table or um, potentially um, do another uh, normal branded campaign. I was leaning one way, then another, but I'm going to take a few weeks off to do some writing. Uh, my next campaign framework that I'm writing for is a thousand years ago. It's going to be called The Second Spark. It's going to be based on divergence and the period of the absence of the gods the wildness of magic and the um, very, very difficult of existence in a very wild and dangerous world where the only beacon is Vasselheim um, as we tap into the very, very <laughs> historical understanding of Exandria during the sealing of the Celestial Gates, the casting out of the Nine Betrayer Gods, but none of the, none of the kingdoms are born yet. Everybody is rooted in their prehistoric history at this point. Um, and that's my current one that I'm working on. So we'll have to see how that goes. But everybody, thank you so much for coming out. Um, this was absolutely amazing. It's late, so no one needs to linger. We're going to say our goodbyes. Uh, of course, you Oh, no, I want to linger. <laughs> well, you can't. I got to go potty. Uh, Tobias and Callista, you'll see on Mondays with Pike's Promise. Um <sighs> Uh, other than that, everyone, stay safe, be kind, and you know what? Play a motherfucking game. It might last you two and a half years, and you'll have fun doing it, and you'll meet a lot of new people. Good night. And it's everybody. good for your mental health. It's great for your mental health. I promise you. Good night, everybody. Good night.